Welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications. I better manifest some coffee. Hola! One bell dance! Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Disfruta un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adios. Adios! <laughs> Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. The rise of apostasy. People are leaving Islam at unprecedented rates. The narrative of Islam being the fastest growing religion is no longer true. The Muslim community is now in damage control from this new threat. Dr. Bilal Phillips in a recent Friday sermon openly has warned the Muslim community that apostasy will come like a tsunami. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that you all have been waiting for. For we are live, live, live. You are listening to the live broadcast of your friendly neighbor, stream doctor, and Christian apologist, 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 the most wanted man, the undisputed. The undefeated public enemy of Islam. 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 And your favorite YouTuber. Rob Christian. 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 Please fasten your seatbelts. Houston. We are ready for takeoff. Oh. Oh. We are back, baby. Let's go! Hello, hello, welcome. We are live! 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 Freedom! Take it! It's yours! We are here, baby. We won't be shut down. We will not be silenced. We are here to stay. And no black stone kissing Mohammedan can do anything about it. We are here to continue spanking the evil cult of Muhammad. And the only thing you can do, Muslims, is to try to shut us down. You know what happened again yesterday, right? You were all here to witness a second Muslim in just a couple of days, in a matter of a couple of days, left Islam. The poor guy yesterday thought uh, that when he joined and called me live on air that he could have uh, refuted me easily boy oh boy he didn't know what hit him and he left islam and decided to accept christ in his life within three hours just in three hours so muslims i challenge you if you think you can uh, refute me call me live on air and see what will happen 
But I warn you, if you don't say inshallah, Allah might not help you and you can be the next black stone kissing Muhammadan who might leave Islam. Life on air. But this is not about winning a debate. This is not about a personal victory. This is about the truth. Al-Haq. Nothing but the truth. We don't care about winning debates. We care about the truth. Nothing but the truth. Welcome everybody. We are live. 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 Hello guys. Hello, hello. Admins, welcome. Dragon Daenerys. Phil Herrera. What's up, Phil? TM Crosspulse. What's up, TM? Uh, do we have more admins? I think we have. C1N. 9R6V3. Tony. Hey, what's up, Tony King? Yo, yo. Uh, do we have more? Chloe Waked is here, a new admin. Welcome, Chloe. How are you? Uh, let's see. I hope I did not miss anyone's name. I thought that I saw Rias Qureshi. I'm not sure if he's still here, Rias Qureshi. Uh, iPhone 3G. What's up, iPhone 3G? God bless you, my friend. Another admin. Chris Claus in the house. Another brother in Christ from the Paul Talk era. Nice to have you on board, brother. Bell BB2. Oh, so many. Oh, and of course, Eden. Hey, Eden. What's up, Eden? Hello, hello. <laughs> How can we forget uh, Eden? How are you, Eden? God bless you. So let's see if more people, uh, more admins will join in. Guys, admins. Uh, my live chat is in your hands. My live chat is yours. Take care of it. Christians, if you love me, please behave. Stick with the topic. Don't allow anyone to distract you because we have a lot of meat today again. Uh, no fighting. I don't want to see uh, Catholics versus uh, Protestants. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all Trinitarian Christians. Come on. It's already enough that we have to deal with the Islam uh, and the garbage of Islam. So please, those small, tiny differences won't change the matter. It won't change the fact that we are still united as one body in Christ. We are all Trinitarians. So please behave, act like a Christian. All right? Love one another because that was the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Love. I mean, if you are commanded as a Christian to love your enemies, to forgive your enemies, to pray for your enemies, what about your brothers and sisters in Christ? Your Trinitarian brothers and sisters in Christ. So please, if you love me, if you respect what we do, don't hurt me by showing me in the live chat that you are attacking one another. So please, if you can do that, then my YouTube channel is not for you. So please leave now before you distract me because uh, my time is really precious, guys. We can't be here uh, always with you, you know. But if we can, when we can, we will be with you. We will go live if the Lord wills. So today was another day for me to go live again because yesterday, man, I, I got so motivated after what happened yesterday. The poor gentleman, he was, he, he, he was about to join Taliban. He, a, a guy from Pakistan, he was about to join Taliban to become, uh, you know, <clears throat> a soldier for Muhammad under the banner of Islam. But when he called me, he didn't know what hit him, right? And within three hours, he left Islam and became a Christian. And uh, I want to thank also our brother Adam Seeker, who also joined in, and he did his part, and... Uh, Thanks to the Lord, we guided him. Clearly, clearly, Jesus needed him back home. Jesus had a plan for him. The irony, man. Imagine, the guy <laughs> is a practicing Muslim, thinking, hey, I'm going to call in uh, a refuter of Christian, not knowing what, <laughs> what I had for him in store. <laughs> Imagine, guys. So God is good, and Jesus has a plan for everybody. Muslims, if such a guy can leave Islam, what about you? Right? What about you? So now you see, guys, how dangerous our live shows are for Islam. This is why Muslims want to shut us down. So, 
If you want to help us out and you want to allow our ministry to grow and you know that our channels are under heavy attack, then you need to download our videos and share them all over social media like wildfire. Please, I can't do that on my own. I need your help in doing so. So again, download our videos. Download our videos, please. Please. I don't want to say it every time I go live. It must be, it, it, it should be automatically. Download our videos, upload them. Because you never know when Sharia Tube decides to take down all the Christian apologies, right? God bless you guys. Welcome. Let me also say hi to our regulars. Rana. Hello, uh, Rana. Salam al-Masih, Rana. Nice to see you. Radioactive Prophet. Uh, let's see. Red Prophet. Tuak Bear. Welcome. MSMIGI1. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Emil Bonsil. What's up, Emil? Uh, lost, found, uh, salt, the wag getter. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, so many people already. That's amazing, guys. Kevin X Muslim. Wow, another X Muslim who is here. Yeah, I heard you uh, the other day on uh, Brother Sam Shamon. So nice to see you again here, bro. Uh, King Jesus, Nix, Hillslide. Uh, we have a Muslim, Ali. Uh, Ali, I hope you can be a man. And call me on Skype. What do you think today? I hope you can call yourself a man. And call me on Skype. I mean, come on, man. And I forgot to notify people on Skype, guys. Can you do that for me, please? Uh, I forgot to notify people on Skype. Uh, normally, I try to send a couple of messages to people so that people know. Just a second, guys. Bear with me, okay? So we will start with a nice prayer and continue from there. Maybe a lot of people don't know that we are live now. Mm. My mistake, maybe. Mm, you know what? Guys, please let everybody know. I sent a couple messages out, but I don't know if that's enough. It is what it is. All right. All right. All right. Let us actually start with a nice prayer, guys, and we will continue from there. So I want to ask you to pray with me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to do another live stream again on short notice. Please bless our audience, all the admins, our supporters and subscribers. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for coming into this world to save us from eternal damnation. You came to cleanse our wicked flesh to wash away the sins of the world. We are washed and justified in your holy name, O Lord Jesus. Your name above all names. We truly needed you, Jesus, because without you, we would have been lost. You are the joy to this world. Lord Jesus, I want to ask you to keep my wife and baby boy healthy and safe. Protect them and bless them. And bless everybody who is here. Now, and listening and watching to our very live stream. Thank you for this awesome audience and subscribers who are always here to support us day in, day out, even in difficult times when our channels are under heavy attack. Please bless them, their loved ones and families, and protect all of us and keep all of us healthy and safe. Give us a measure of your strength, O Jesus. And... So that we not give in to any discouragement, any taqiyya, any deception, any makr, any toria, or any lies or doubt. Please help us on you in all our ways. Lord Christ, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims. Like the last two Muslims who left Islam. And accepted you in their lives. Because we believe that there are many Muslims who are listening to our videos. Our live shows. That are truly seeking for the truth. And you claim to be the truth. You said. Ana huwa al -haq, I am the truth. So please. Ask them to come back home. Show yourself to them. Please, Lord, open their eyes so also they can be saved, like we are saved through your holy blood. 
Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today and guide me so I can speak the truth. Nothing but the truth without any error or any shame. Lord, give us wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are live. Live. We are back, baby. Let's go. Welcome, guys. Again, welcome on this live show today. We will have the opportunity to show you the meltdown of Mimi Hijab, the latest meltdown of Mimi Hijab, and the downfall of this crazy person and all the Muslim apologists in 2021. As you know, guys, as you know, the year 2020. The year 2020 was really a bad year for Islam. It was truly a disastrous year for the Islamic Ummah because of the behavior and actions of these Muslim apologists, these heroes of Islam, these useful idiots like Muhammad Hijab. What about Yasser Qadi? The Yasser Qadi who set the holes in the standard narrative on the map. And Ijaz Ahmad doxing, doxing and threatening Christians. And what about Menj, the number one Muslim apologist of all time from Malaysia, who was arrested for possession of child pornography? Truly, 2020 was a blessing for the Islamic Ummah, i.e., the Islamic nation. And now, this very new year, 2021. The story continues. Mimi Hijab's latest meltdown on Twitter. Epic, epic meltdown, guys. Truly, these Muslim apologists, the heroes of Islam, are the gift that keeps on giving. So, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. How these Muslim apologists are actually helping the Ummah to drown even harder. And you heard uh, the Imam from Canada, Imam Bilal Phillips, saying, there is going to be a tsunami, an avalanche of apostates, and it will knock down the Ummah. They know it's coming. They know a huge wave, a huge wave is coming towards them. And no sheikh, no imam, and no ustaz, or let alone a Muslim apologist, can do anything about it. It's happening in front of you. You are the eyewitnesses. Right? You know what happened yesterday and a couple days ago. Muslims are leaving. What about the Muslims in the back who don't dare to call us? You know, because they are afraid. They are closet Muslims, basically. Only Muslims by name. They know Islam is nothing but a game. They know Islam is nothing but pure comedy. Islam in 2021 is nothing but a meme it became a meme it's nothing but a joke so the smart muslims are actually the ex-muslims right the smart muslims are the ex-muslims now guys my skype is open my skype is open if there is a muslim who thinks he has the courage and the knowledge to call us live on air you are very welcome to call me for a nice and respectful discussion but make sure to say inshallah because Allah might not help you and you might leave Islam again life on air like the Muslims before you, right? So make sure to say inshallah, do wudu at least 10 times. Then and only then maybe Allah can help you. The Muslims uh, who are listening, my Skype is now in the live chat. Uh, look, the admins are posting my Skype ID. The Rob Christian. Again, my Skype ID for the Muslims only for now. The Rob Christian. So if you want to call us, you can call us live on air. Any topic about Islam. If you think you can defend Islam here, live on air, go ahead. Let's see if you have the guts to show up. Adam Seeker, welcome you to... Uh, yesterday was epic again, bro. Wow, that was truly a day of days, right? 
Guys, subscribe to my brother in Christ, Adam Seeker, who is doing an amazing job. And I want to thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we are working together. Uh, it, this is amazing, man. This is truly amazing. It was really nice that we could combine our skills and knowledge to help that poor victim of Islam yesterday. And it took us a lot of hours, but it was worth it, right? It was truly worth it. It was truly worth it. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Destroy that like button. Click on the notification bell to receive notifications. And make sure to choose all notifications because you have three options, right? Choose the all one. So you will receive all the notifications from our side. All right, all right. This is the topic of today, the downfall of Muslim apologists in 2021. They are the gift that keeps on giving, right? They are the useful idiots. They are actually helping us, but they don't know that, right? They think they are smart, but <laughs> they are actually the ones who are causing the fitna. They are causing the downfall of Islam, right? They remind me actually of their prophet because Muhammad, whenever he speaks in the hadith, if we go to the Quran, you see the moment Muhammad opens his mouth, he digs a huge grave for himself. And that's what the Muslim apologists are doing too. I mean, you are a follower of Muhammad. You're going to act like Muhammad. You must act like Muhammad because remember, Muhammad is the best example. So everything Muhammad did, Muslims with the big beards, <laughs> they must follow. And the bigger the beard... The harder you fall down on your head. The bigger the beard, the harder you fall down on your head. And you saw what happened with Muhammad Hijab if you were following social media, his social media, what he was doing. And uh, we mentioned, guys, we already mentioned to you for the people who just joined yesterday, if you missed the live show, you must watch it. You must rewatch it, guys. All right? It was long. But it was worth it. And the guy left Islam. He came to refute us. But boy, oh boy, a huge train, a huge train with the truth knocked him over. And he left Islam within three hours and accepted Christ. That was amazing, man. Amazing. So let us actually start the, the live show. And le let us, let me take you on a journey, <laughs> uh, the journey of Muhammad Hijab, how he's actually helping us to destroy Islam even further and uh, embarrassing his own prophet. Now, you, you've you seen the debate, all of you, I, I believe you've seen the debate or watched the debate between David Wood, our brother David Wood and Muhammad Hijab, where Muhammad Hijab made that awesome comment Allah prays for, for, not to, to the Prophet. Right? Allah prays for, not to the Prophet. And that caused a huge, uh, huge, uh, it said basically a huge explosion, right? And, and uh, basically like a chain explosion, right? And for me, to be honest, it's one of the uh, first steps in the destruction of these. Uh, Muslim apologies. He started to do it actually here, you know. He is the first one who came with that and it became right. It was an epic moment for, for me, to be honest with you. And uh, it's he said it on the map that Allah prays. Allah does pray. Right? Allah does pray. <laughs> Allah you salli. <laughs> but Allah prays for, not to Muhammad, right? But Allah does pray. Allah does pray. So when he uh, knew that he made a huge mistake and he forced Allah to commit shirk for the sake of Muhammad, he went back to Ghana, to Africa. And when he came back to London, he said, no, no, I made a mistake. I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. Remember? Where, and I think it was during that conversation with Sister Hatun, the lioness, Sister Hatun herself. And he said, no, I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. But wait. Hamd, according to chapter 1, ayah 2 of the Quran, Alhamdulillah faqat. Right? 
Hamd is only for Allah. The praise in Islam is only for Allah, no one else. So you are digging a bigger grave for Allah, showing that Allah is a nice little mushrik for the sake of Muhammad. Allah committed shirk if you're going to say that Allah is doing hamd for Muhammad. Keep digging the grave for your prophet and his Allah, Muhammad Hijab. You're doing an amazing job. <laughs> Guys, give Muhammad Hijab a nice little rose. I'm sure he's going to watch my video later. Or maybe he's here watching in the back, uh, right? So keep digging a grave for your prophet. Keep showing us that even Allah is the slave of Muhammad, right? Allah yusalli. If that's not enough, chapter 33, ayah 56, Allah himself, all the Muslims and the angels, submit and surrender to Muhammad. وَسَلِّمُ تَسْلِيمَ Right? Sallallahu, Allah prays on him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah submits. Don't Muslims always say when they repeat, they say the, the name of Muhammad. Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah prays on Muhammad. If that's not enough, they finish with Allah submits to Muhammad. So who is the real God in Islam? Muhammad. Muhammad, it went to his head. And he wanted to be even worshipped by Allah himself. What about the rest of the Muslims who pray five times a day? Right? They pray five times a day. And they say to Muhammad, As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. Wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you, who? Muhammad. On the Nabi. Peace be upon you, Muhammad. Isn't that shirk? When you pray to a dead guy who died 1400 years ago. Isn't that blasphemy to pray to a mortal guy who died 1400 years ago, Muslims? And you do that five times a day in your five daily prayers. If <laughs> once is not enough, you do it five times. Any Muslim, guys? Is there any Muslim in the live chat who has the guts to call me? Any Muslim? My Skype is open. Any Muslim? Yeah, Abbas. Abbas, yeah, Abbas. Abbas, yeah, Abbas. Uh, Al Zarani. Al Zarani, are you a Muslim? Uh, Al Zarani, you relax. Why, uh, why are you relaxed, brother? I'm, 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 I'm embarrassing your prophet. Life on air. I am embarrassing your prophet. Yeah, little mushrik. You black stone kissing Muhammadan. Why are you being relaxed in my life, life chat? Be a man. Be a nice soldier for Allah and Muhammad and call me. You're a joke. Your, your, your deen is a joke. Ya Jahl. Call me Ya Jahl, Ya Jaban. Ya Jaban ibn Jaban, call me. Be a man, don't be a kid. Are you a kid? Are you, you Muslims in the live chat, in the comment section, act like lies. <laughs> what? But when, it, when we ask you to call us, you all become little kittens. Meow. Meow. Meow, brother, meow. Where is the... Uh, do that when you call me. Hey, long live the Arabs. Well, Arabs are, 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 are our dhimmies, man. They are our dhimmies. Arabs in, <laughs> in the Arab world, in the Middle East, you, are, you became the dhimmies of the United States. When we say, stand up, you stand up. We say to you, sit down, you sit down. You, are, you, are, you, are, you became the slaves. Without the West, you die. Be honest. Ya Jahl, be honest. Saudi Arabia is, is, is the lab dog of, of the United States. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm proud Arabs. The proud Arabs. Yeah. Very proud, brother. Meow, brother, meow. <laughs> Let's continue the journey of Muhammad Hijab. And you remember what happened during the, the discussion with uh, Yasir Qadi, right? The Yasir Qadi. There are holes in the standard narrative. That's what Yasir Qadi did. And what did Muhammad Hijab after that discussion do? He removed at least 30 minutes. The last 30 minutes he, re he removed he removed from the discussion to hide what was being said. Look at the taqiyya, look at the mecca of these Muslims, the deception. Hiding 30 minutes. Remember that? Remember that? You remember it, right, guys? 
You likey likey. Yeah. So look at the deception 101. Hiding 30 minutes of the discussion. The most important part of the discussion, poof, gone. And later both of them decided to remove the video. But boy oh boy, we got the evidence. We copied, we copied the discussion before you embarrassing Muslims. It's total embarrassment from your side to take down the video because you know how much damage you have done to the Ummah, to Islam itself with that discussion. There are holes in the standard narrative. Right? That discussion, this discussion here that happened made the Ummah drown. Yes, Hamza. Hello? Hello. Hello, uh, Hamza. Salam al-Masih. Hi, how are you, Hamza? Welcome. Uh, Rob, um, uh, if you don't mind, uh, I, did I disturb you? Uh, normally, I don't take uh, calls from Christian. You are a Christian now, right? How does it feel, your first day yes, to be a Christian? But how does it feel? <sighs> yeah, lots, a lot of good, you know. Like, you, you I are, have no anxiety Do you feel how, how you are changed inside, my friend? Uh, I read some passages from Bible, um, mm. like uh, love thy neighbor. Mm. Uh, I, I just, I just want to say this is like um, the basic of peace. Like you know, if mm. uh, <clears throat> um, you know, like if like a neighbors, like um, if uh, what I said, I have just one question. Uh, yeah, go if ahead. the neighbor, if the neighbor is like a homosexual or um, you know, like. Uh, Homosexual, okay. Yeah. So, so do do we have to kill him or no, no, uh, no, no. do we like no, my friend, like this? Taking a life, giving a life—that's the job of God. No one here. You are not allowed as a Christian to even harm the finger, the little finger of a of a uh, of a homosexual. That's not our job, right? Okay. Yes, we condemn homosexuality. Homosexuality sexuality is a no-no in Christianity. No, not allowed. But. We are not allowed to hurt them. We are not allowed to fight them. This is, we are not Muslims, my friend. Right? That's the job Perfect. of God. If, if they want to yes. stay in that filth, it's filth. Right? They are going against the Bible. They are going against the teaching of Christ. If they want to be a homosexual, it's, it's their free will. But God will, will punish them. Right? It's, uh, God, uh, for example, God did not create Adam and Steve. God created Adam and Eve. Right? Adam and Eve. God didn't create two yes. two men. God created a man and a woman, right? There you go. Yes, yeah, yes. I, I like still believe like uh, uh, when I uh, I was mm -hmm. like uh, uh, yesterday I was like uh, leaving Islam, so I was like in doubt because uh, you know yeah. I like Moses, Musa, uh, yeah. Isa, all yeah. the prophets. Bro, like, there is uh, no Isa, there is no Musa. Moses, we have sorry, Moses sorry, and sorry. Uh, like, Yeshua, I'm right? Talking. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about um, yeah, Islamic Isa, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so like, um, they're like, you know. So I like them. I, I mostly I like the story of Moses. Yeah. So mm -hmm. as a Pashtun, so I accepted the Christ. But there are some people who are calling me like fake uh, Muslim. Yeah. So let me. <laughs> yeah, they will say. They will say. Yeah, they will say. Rob Christian I, paid uh, you money. Rob, I paid Rob. you money, right? And uh, yes, you yes, are a fake yes, uh, uh, ex-Muslim. Exactly. Yeah. I, I just want to say something that, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, if I say to you, like, ISIS is Islamic, I swear to ISIS is Islamic, I'm, I'm especially addressing the Muslims. Yeah, don't, don't swear, if my you, friend, don't swear. No, it's no good oh, sorry, to swear. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. If, you, if, if you Muslims really think that uh, ISIS is not Islamic, I swear to you, come and see them. Yeah. Read the sources and you will get who are they. Yeah. And you know, like Daud Kim, I, I, someone sent me the yeah, Daud Kim, the Korean the guy, yeah, Islam. yeah. When, when, when I, when I watch some of his videos, I die of laugh. Mm. I die of laughing because he, he is. <laughs> I mean, what is this? He is like Salam alaikum. He, he has no beard, and and look at the shares. So, who look how they are? They are, you know, like peaceful, yeah. peaceful. He's, he's a victim, process. right? He's a victim of no. Islam. Poor no. Daud Kim. He, how much does he know about I, true Islam, right? Guys, guys, mm. I, I'm died of laughing. You know, like they're yeah. they're showing they're the, the the Quran has no loving, peaceful words. So so you know they're like trying to um, present the abrogated verses. Like as I said uh, yesterday, that uh, la ikraha fid din. Yeah. 
So yeah. the Muslims they will never say that okay it is out of context. You know they will they will say okay that's mm-hmm. good that's fine we we don't need the context. But when it comes to like some violent wars and you just post it, you know they they will like go crazy. What are you talking about? Why are you you are uh, quoting it out of context? Yeah. Look look at the level of hypocrisy, man. I mean th- this is Rob. This is literally this is. Yeah. stupidity what is yeah. uh, in pashto kamakal to mm-hmm. this is mm-hmm. extreme type of yeah uh, brother hamza i have a question can you tell the audience who are listening they are really happy for you my friend can you tell us how you feel after uh being a christian for one day you ju- you are be- you became a christian this is your first day what do you want to say to the people how do you to feel be, to be honest how do you feel yes to be honest yeah to be honest when i like um Uh, what, uh, what do you say? Wake, wake up, wake yeah, up. Yeah, you wake up. up. Yeah, uh, you wake up from the horror of Islam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, when I wake mm. up, like um, you know, all the day, like I pray. Mm. So there was a time when um, you know Azan, like they say, like um, uh, Allahu Akbar and Allahu Akbar. I, yeah. uh, you know. Mm. So I, I wasn't like um, I was thinking like a little bit sad that okay, I left my habits and yeah, uh, you know, lots of like. You know, depression. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's okay, not easy. Of course. Like yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like very disappointed, you know. Yeah. But I uh, say, like, this is good, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? What do? What do you? What do you want to to tell to the Muslims who are listening, right? What do you want to say to them, to the Muslims, the people who are still Muslims who are listening? What do you want to tell them, as a newborn Christian, an ex-Muslim now? Newborn Christian, what do you want to tell them? Hamza. Uh, wait, 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 I'm coming, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm will come. I, I have a work, okay? Uh, you, can, you can continue, bro. I okay. have no problem. But... Uh, call, me, call me later when I finish, all right, Hamza, if that's okay with you? Uh, okay, well, well, what was your question? Uh, yeah, brother, okay, yeah, yeah. my question was, what do you want to tell the Muslims who are listening? You left Islam yesterday and you became a Christian. This is your first day as a new Christian. What do you want to say to the Muslims who are listening? What is your message to them? My message to them is that this is an extreme type of religion. I swear. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, like some doubts. We, we, we as humans, we have a mind. We have doubts. Mm. I was like in doubt because um, you know, like violent, and I see daily news that yeah. um, you know Christians are being persecuted. This and this in Pakistan. So sometimes I say like uh, it's okay. We Muslims, uh, so what? Uh, uh, don't uh, blame Islam for the actions of Muslims. But mm. if you really think, you know, this is bad. Yeah. If Islam didn't, if Islam didn't bring peace, then what? What is the purpose of this religion? Yeah. Yeah, and 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 the problem is not the Muslims. The problem is Muhammad. He is the source of the problem. He is the main problem, and he is the one yes, who created he, this disaster, right? Yes, he was. And yeah. you know, like I die of laughing at the Western Muslims. If there is any Western Muslims who say that jihad is like you know, like struggling at Zakir Naik when he said yeah. like. Uh, Okay, I said that you know, like jihad is come from jihad. Yes, I know jihad comes from jihad, and you know, yeah. uh, I know Persian, Persian language, Urdu. Yes, it is jad, jad jihad. It is mm. Persian and Urdu and Pashto word. Yeah, it means struggle. Yeah, but in Islam, in Islamic reality, Islamic right? In reality, <laughs> yeah, in the true Islam, Islam, yeah. The true Islam is you have to qatilu lazina la yu'minuna billah go to mm. any any of these muslim fight organizations fight everybody fight pre- everyone who does not accept islam exactly yes, yes. that's true islam yeah. Yeah. yeah when 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 you are about to join a radical group of muslims they will never ever tell you that okay you have to be peaceful with the muslims and look uh, mm. you have to play victim card and you have to cry like oh, these these are persecuting you no yeah. they will directly tell you kill them Kill them! Yeah. I swear to you, they will kill them. Yeah. You know, like so there are some Muslim women in TikTok. I die of laughing at the videos I was watching. Yeah, they're like you know, like taking hijab and saying, "I am a hijabi girl, and this is a harami word, uh, like fantastic, and this and this. Uh, you can touch my hair or touch yeah. me anywhere." Yeah. What is this? Exactly. That's true Islam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, brother Hamza. Thank yeah. you for calling. Uh, I want to ask you to stay with us. Uh, also. Uh, keep watching our videos. Uh, you have the uh, information uh, Skype of uh, brother uh, Adam Seeker. Uh, let him help you and uh, 
you know, you need to, your next step, your final step uh, is for you to get baptized, right? That's your second step. So make sure to baptize, take your time, but you must baptize to find, to finalize your journey, right? To, to make your journey complete as a Christian. So let Adam yes, Sitter right, help right. you and uh, take your time, read the Bible, right. read the gospel, read the Injil. And uh, I'm sure your whole life is going to change. You already, your life is already changed, right? And I feel how calm you are, how peaceful you are, because now you have the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the real Jesus, Yeshua al-Masih, no Isa, Yeshua al-Masih, right? So, brother, go with I the just, peace of uh, Christ. Uh, last, uh, yeah. uh, last, uh, last message to my Muslim brothers. Mm -hmm. If you are shy of jihad, Mm -hmm. I swear to you, it is, you have, it is a duty to you. I, I forgot the words of the Quran. You know, like uh, Allah, Allah says that uh, Allah purchased the souls from the Mu'minins. Mm -hmm. There's another, there are a plenty of verses which clearly tells you to do jihad. So mm -hmm. don't be hypocrite, don't be munafik. If you really want to, to, to uh, practice Islam, go for jihad. This is yeah. the best deed you have. Exactly. exactly. Don't, don't, don't play games with the West people. Yeah. They, 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 they know nothing. And you said that okay, don't don't, don't blame uh, uh, Islam for Muslims. No, we don't blame Muslims when they pray. Yeah. So uh, according to their logic, should I should I say to Muslim that uh, okay, you are praying and this uh, this is not according to Islam? Mm. What is this? Mm. Jihad is also according to Islam. So when you do jihad, say that okay, it is in Islam. That's why we are doing this. Don't be hypocrite. Don't be munafik. Yeah. You munafik. People. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Thank, you. Thank you, brother Thank you so Hamza much. Habibi. Uh, God bless you and uh, see you very soon again. Keep watching our videos and keep reading the Bible, my friend. Yeah, I have uh, I have only 400 MBs, so maybe I should be offline, uh, maybe, uh, you know, out of MBs. So, yeah. But I will watch your, your stream. Uh, don't don't worry, my friend. One request, please. One no, request. Problem. no problem. Please, please, expose, please expose these TikToker girls, mm. Muslim girls. <laughs> expose them. Yeah. Just we spank will, them down, yeah. right and left. You know, th th these are just bang, <laughs> eating mm. my mind. Believe. Me. Yeah. Okay, and and also make a video on abrogated verses of the Quran. Yes, we we did what? that. We did that many times. But sure, why not? We can always bring it the topic again of abrogation. No problem, my friend. We have many videos about it. But sure, why not? Why not? Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Hamza. Now continue. See you again, thank brother. You. God bless you. God bless you. Thank yes. you for calling. God bless. You. All right, that was Hamza, the brother, the ex-Muslim who left Islam yesterday on live on air on our live show yesterday and became a Christian. We had a long conversation, but uh, it seems that he felt the need to call me again. Normally, I don't accept when I saw his name, you know, he's a new Christian, why not, right? So guys, please, Christians, don't call, don't call. Let me continue, and later we will open the phone lines for the Christians. But if you are a Muslim, not a coward, who I see a lot of cowards who are triggered. Muslims, why are you such little puppies? Ya munafiqoon, where is your sword? Aren't you proud about the sword of Muhammad? Come fight me. Life on air. <laughs> Take out the sword of Muhammad and say, uh, Allahu Akbar, say inshallah and call me. What's wrong with you? Why are you, so, why are you so, such little puppies, cowards? Right? Anyway, it is what it is. Let us continue, guys. Let us continue. Still no call, guys. Still no call from any Muslim, right? <laughs> Cowards. <laughs> Little puppies. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Let us continue, guys. So you saw this, this video was truly a disaster for the Ummah. It made so many Muslims leave Islam. You have no idea, right? You have no idea how many Muslims started to leave Islam because of this conversation between Yasser Qadi and Muhammad Hijab. And Muhammad Hijab, knowing after, after the show was over, knowing how much damage he did, and he made a second video. How dare you Muslims to leave Islam? How dare you? You cowards, you hypocrites. He was screaming like uh, there is no tomorrow. He knew how much damage he had done, right? And Muslims started to doubt left and right. They started to adopt Islam left and right. And many, many, many of them left Islam. The smart ones left Islam. 
Muhammad Hijab was crazy. He was mad. He was furious, right? Like exactly like this. Look at the eyes, brother. Look at the Photoshop skills. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's continue. And then Muhammad Hijab, Muhammad Hijab, the golden showers boy, came on the live show of the apostate prophet when David Wood and uh, the apostate prophet were live streaming together. He came on and he said, David Wood, can you give a golden shower to apostate prophet? And he kept saying that like, man, and Muslims are so proud about this guy. Imagine this guy has more than 300,000 subscribers, man. Imagine one of your heroes. And he's, he even has the check mark, right? You don't get that easy from YouTube, right? YouTube lo love these uh, fools asking for golden showers live on air. Muslims, you must be proud about this guy, right? You must be proud about your hero asking for golden showers, right? Islam, is this the best that you got lately? These silly street thugs, these thugs from the street presenting, representing Islam. What happened to Islam, man, in 2021, 2020? What happened to Islam? Where is the proud, the pride of, of Islam? Where is the sword of Allah and Muhammad? What happened? This is the best you can do and say on air? Can you, David Wood, can you give a golden shower to the apostate prophet? Yeah, Mimi Hijab, how old are you, man? This is the, the example of the Muslims carrying the banner of Islam, life on air. And this is embarrassing, man. This is embarrassing. I, I feel embarrassed for you Muslims that you are subscribers. Many of you are subscribers of such a kid. Even kids don't use such language, man. All right? You see, and the Muslims, the, the demons are manifesting in the live chat. Uh, brainwashed idiots, useful idiots, showing us the true colors of Islam. Poor, poor, triggered Abduls. Guys, look how funny they are in the live chat. I'm, I'm having fun, actually. Keep making them dimmies. They are our dimmies now, right? It's now our turn to shut them up, put them in the corner where they belong. Little children, man. Kids. Proud. We are proud, yeah. We see how proud you are that you not even dare to call me life on air. What happened with you, Muslims? You see, and then this happened a couple days ago. This started again. Again, 2021. Guys, this is... February 23rd, 2021. And you see what, what uh, Mim Hijab was writing on Twitter. He said, and I quote, Since you people who, for the most part, are unknown to me, constitute an active part of my life. I must admit, Muslims, Mim Hijab is saying, I have been using you for my own self, for my own ego, to feel very important. This guy has been using his audience, his his subscribers. Imagine, imagine if I would say that without any shame. Imagine. And the, and the subscribers still love it. They love him for saying that. <laughs> I've been using you for my own benefit, for my own ego, for my own ego trip. <laughs> to feel important. <laughs> I'm important, bruh. I'm important, boy. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, you see, I love it that uh, that his minions, the minions of me hijab, are manifesting. These little demons in the live chat are manifesting. Keep doing, keep showing us the true face of Islam. We are laughing about you. You, you've been, you, you must have became a joke of the century, man. Islam is a joke because of you. And he continues saying. One of my meek, many weaknesses is that I always like to appear strong in public. I mean hijab. You need hack my boy. You're finished, boy. And then he says, it's all an act. I'm very weak, brother. I'm very vulnerable. I'm weak. He says, it's all have been an act. I'm a boy. Who is the real boy now, Mr. Mimi Hijab? Who just admitted that he's a weak little boy? You. So stop saying to people, you boy, you are finished. 
You are the little boy and you just admitted it. You're finished, Mimi Hijab. Boy. <laughs> and then, and then guys, this happened. February 28, 2021. February 28, 2021. Look what he said. This, I, I really enjoyed this. Look what he said. Guys, are you with me? Are you still with me, guys? Don't allow anyone to distract you, guys. Let these Muslim demons in the live chat, let them manifest. I don't care. The admins will take care of them, guys. Our audience, don't allow them to distract you, all right? Stay with me. Let the admins take care of it. We have admins for that, right? All right. Look what Muhammad Hijab said more. He says, and I quote, It's so weird to think of a fatwa like that as acceptable in any way. So he's talking about the fatwa of the shuyukh, the muftis, right? Who give fatwas, who issue fatwas. And this is about what? About adult, again, about adult breastfeeding 10 times. Adult breastfeeding, right? And look what he says. Here comes the meat. <laughs> look how, how funny this is. Just imagine, Mim Hijab saying, just imagine someone sitting there watching their wife, who their wife, mom, his mother or daughter, give her breast to another man who then sucks it out. Imagine. Imagine, brother. This is your mama. This is your Muslim mama, your Muslim sister or your wife. Till it, till it's out till he's full. So his his belly is full of milk. The guy, Mimi Hijab is disgusted that his prophet asked for adult Muslim men with big beards to suck on some on a on, on a woman's <clears throat> right? So she becomes haram for him. So he basically becomes her son. To come and enter the house to see her. So Muhammad Hijab is disgusted about his prophet for to force a guy, a grown-up guy with a big beard, fourteen hundred years ago. If you want to enter, you must first ten times. One time is not enough. You must do it two, three, four, all the way to ten times. Then you become her son. You become haram for her. Keep sucking, brother. Maybe uh, all the milk will come out. Your belly is full, brother. So Muhammad Hijab is disgusted of his prophet. He's insulting his own prophet. Your prophet said that, Ya Munafiq. Ya Muhammad Hijab, your prophet forced a woman to take out her breast, her titties, and give it to a grown-up man with a beard. And he even smiled. We're going to show you the hadith. He even smiled. Your prophet smiled. Continue. Yes, I know he's a, he's a, a man with a beard. But you must give your breast 10 times, 10 different times, 10 different days, guys, to complete the sucking of, uh, <clears throat> the journey of sucking. 10 times, 10 different days. I mean, this is real Islam, guys. So, Muhammad Hijab, if you are so disgusted, why are you still a Muslim? Ya Munafiq, ya, ya, ya. Yeah, Jaban, why are you still a Muslim if you know that your prophet was a filthy son of Satan for forcing women like your mother, your sister, your wife, your daughter to give their breasts to adult men? Ya yeah, Munafiq. You're not even a Muslim, man. You're a kid. You're not even a Muslim. Your prophet did that. So why are you still a Muslim? And he continues. Look. Look at this. Muhammad Hijab says, Guys, take a screenshot, please. Look at this, because he removed this. It's not on his Twitter. He removed it immediately. But we have the evidence. <laughs> we have the evidence, guys. It's not on his Twitter. He removed it. The coward. I mean, if you say something, don't remove it. Look. Are you with me, guys? Are you with me? Look what Muhammad Hijab says. And I quote, Mimi Hijab says, Okay, can I suck? Your wife's tit to make her mahram? Oof. 
imagine if if he's talking about your mother muslims ya muslimin ya muslimin he's talking about your mothers can i do that and he's talking to a guy look and another muslim he says what kind of mannerism is are these ya muhammad hijab tfu alayk ya muhammad hijab this guy is saying bunur i don't know bunur some guy some idiot like him shame on you muhammad hijab shame on you why why would he should be ashamed because your prophet forced women to give out their titties to adult men so the one who be, should be ashamed should is your prophet ya munafiq look how what kind of munafiqs these people are man ya munafiq your prophet forced women to do that this evil son of satan your prophet Imagine guys you are you why are you addressing Muhammad address your prophet your prophet ask ask for this filth Imagine your uh, your mother is is alive in the time of Muhammad Muhammad comes to your mother your sister or daughter he said to the, to them you must take out your titty and give it to an adult man else that adult man cannot enter the house And do you call this a prophet of God so who is the munafiq you Then Muhammad Hijab says, "Why is it wrong? He believes it's halal. Well, yeah, your prophet made it halal to suck on titties of uh, of mothers and daughters and sisters." <laughs> yeah, 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 munafiqun, yeah, munafiqin. Shame on you! Shame on you! I mean, don't you like that these people are fighting among themselves? Who is the right? Who is the wrong? Should we follow Muhammad? Should we not follow Muhammad as Sunnah? Was Muhammad a filthy man for forcing women like your mothers and sisters and daughters and wives to give their titties to adult men? Not once, not twice, but ten times, ten different times. Come tomorrow, brother. I have more milk for you, brother. You, you, you're going to become my son if you keep coming for the next nine days. Today you had enough. Uh, I, I'm out of milk, brother. No milkshake for you. My milkshake, da, 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 da. Yeah. no milkshake for you, brother. Today I'm out of milk. Tomorrow come back, and the next other uh, eight days come back too, and then you will finish the journey of sucking uh, <clears throat> a brother. This is religion. This is religion, Muslims. Yeah, this must be the sucking uh, religion. The sucking religion. This is the sucking religion, brother. Tfu, ya Muslimin. Tfu al hik nabi. You call him a nabi? Tfu. Muhammad you, uh, hijab. Tfu al hik. Right? That's what he used to say. Tfu al hik. Yeah. Tfu ala uh, man ya habibi. Tfu ala man. Wake up ya muslimin. Wake up. Wake up. Ya akhwan. Eh al umma di ya ammi. Why are you following a nasty evil man like Muhammad still after 1400 years ago who was forcing your mothers, sisters and daughters to give their titties to grown up men, to adult men? Wake up from this horror dream, man. And you still fight among one another. You fight among yourselves. Was Muhammad right? Was Muhammad wrong? Take a screenshot, guys, and use this against the Muslims in your debates. Take a screenshot. This screenshot does not uh, uh, this Twitter feed this Twitter is gone. He deleted it. The coward deleted it. Take a screenshot. Share it all over social media. Let it spread like wildfire, man. Yeah, basically exactly uh learn next TV. Bonu just left Islam because you are you are condemning the prophet of of Islam. You are saying to Muhammad Hijab, shame on you, Muhammad Hijab. But it is your prophet, your your fake evil son of Satan that you call prophet. He ordered these manners. So you are a munafiq, ya Bunur. You are attacking your prophet. You are condemning the prophet of Islam. Your prophet, you are condemning. You are not condemning Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab is simply following the Sunnah of Muhammad, his prophet. Take a screenshot, guys. I'm going to. I'm not going to show the screen again. So take a screenshot now. Take a selfie so we can continue. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready to continue? This is happening. Yes, this is happening. 
Any Muslim? Yeah, uh, Agha Abbas, your prophet was the greatest human being alive who used to ask women like your mother, sister, and daughter to take out their titties and suck, allow to suck men like your father, mother, sorry, your father, uh, uh, you, your uncle, and so on, your friends to come and suck on, uh, on your mother's titties. Yeah, that's the best of example, guys. Muhammad was the best example of mankind. The pattern of conduct. Forcing your mothers and sisters to give their breasts to adult men with big beards. Yeah, great example, brother. Very great example. Oof, oof, oof. You're very smart, yeah, ya Abbas. Ya Abbas ibn Farnas. You are a very smart Abdul. I have to give it to you. You're smart to follow such, a, such an example like Muhammad. And who's the, who's the one who's finished, yeah, Muhammad Hijab? You're the one who's finished. You are, uh, you are being a useful idiot, yeah, Muhammad Hijab. You are the gift that keeps on giving. You Muslim apologists, you are the gift that keeps on giving. You are helping us to drown the ummah even harder. Imagine you are a Muslim, a, a Muslim who is born here in the, in the West, and you see this filth of Islam that you never have heard before. How can you stay in this evil cult that forces your mother, your own sister, think Muslims, think, to give their titties to a grown-up man like this guy here. Look how long his beard is. Imagine he comes to your mother and he asks you, I want to enter your house to play a video game with you, but I must first suck on the titties of your mother or sister. Choose. Or maybe your wife. Else I cannot enter to play a game with you. Video game, maybe. Maybe you can play uh, COD. Oh, what do you call this game? Uh, these games of today? Counter Strike and uh, maybe Street Fighter. I don't know what kids play these games. I must first get the titties of your mother. Sorry for the language, guys. I'm not. I'm not. This. I'm not going to be politically correct for Islam with Islam today. 18 plus. When you talk about Islam, it's always 18 plus. Deal with it. Christians, deal with it. Stop being a sissified, even jellyfishes. We say things as they are. You don't like it? Go. Yeah. Uh, well, my mother today, my mother is out of milk. Come tomorrow. Muhammad Hijab, Ali Dawa, Ali Lili, Lili, Fifi. Come tomorrow, maybe then my sister or mother or my wife have more milk for you. My milkshake, uh, milkshake, we are out of business today. Milkshake is, all, uh, you know, because before you, someone else came. And they are out of milk. Come tomorrow, brother. Maybe we have more milk for you tomorrow. And we can play a game, video game together. Maybe we can play some chess or dominoes or, you know, eat a sand sandwich together, whatever. Lord have mercy. Guys, give me two minutes and we will continue. Give me two minutes and we will continue. Be right back, okay, guys? Be right back.
All right, guys, we are back. Sorry for that. Yeah, this <clears throat> breast sucking cult of Muhammad made me thirsty, so I had to go and open my refrigerator to get myself a nice cold glass of milk. <laughs> the tit sucking cult of Muhammad, yeah. Any Muslim, guys? Any Muslim? <laughs> Bruh, there's nothing like milk, man. Any, uh, is Fifi, Mimi, Lily, is, are, are you there? <laughs> Any Muslim? We have only Abbas, the little coward. Abbas, yeah, Abbas. Are you driving your taxi or are you going to deliver pizza? Why are you not calling me, man? Yeah, Abbas, keep calling me. Guys, uh, please don't send me messages on Skype, please. If you see my list, you'll go crazy. Don't send me a message, please. Uh, uh, well, it's not uh, it's not the milk uh, from uh, the neighbor. <coughs> I have a, a very beautiful uh, neighbor here, a very beautiful woman. She's blonde, but bro, it's not. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't we don't practice Islam, brother. I, you know, the milk I got, you know, I went to, to the supermarket the other day and, uh, you know, a huge gallon, right? So when I, talk, when I talk about I get thirsty, man, I need to drink milk too. Continue sucking, bro. Today we are out of milk, brother. Come tomorrow. Uh, Mimi Hijab, come tomorrow. My mother's out of milk. Yeah. So you can finish your uh, 10 times suckling, brother. The blondie neighbor. <laughs> the blondie neighbor, yeah. Let us continue, guys, with the sister, uh, sister Fifi, we are, while we are at it anyway. Let us continue, because Fifi is involved in this tit-sucking business too. <laughs> yeah, milk shortage, brother. I mean, you go to the Middle East, you, uh, there's no milk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. milk is expensive there, man. <laughs> you must come early in the early morning, else you're uh, you're going to be out of milk, brother. Because uh, twenty um, men with huge beards like uh, Fifi already passed before you, man. So you must wake up early, bro, because you can be out of milk. Now here is basically what I want to explain to you guys. Every Muslim, don't we always say every Muslim has his own version of Islam? Basically, Mimi Hijab's version of Islam is adult breastfeeding was only for the guy called Salim. Muhammad ordered the wife uh, of uh, that guy, right, to take out her breast and give it to Salim. But Salim is a, is a guy with a huge beard. And Muhammad smiled. Yes, I know he's an adult, but keeps giving him your... <clears throat> but he has a big beard. Yeah, Rasulullah, he has a huge beard. Filthy ass beard, he even washed his beard. I know, keep... Let him... <clears throat> That's Muhammad Hijab's version of Islam. But Farid response version of Islam is, there is no adult breastfeeding, brother. So basically, Farid rejects the idea, but Mimi Hijab accepts the idea of adult breastfeeding. But brother, it was only for one man. That's what basically, in a nutshell, is going on right now. Did you catch it? Take a screenshot, guys, please. That is what is going on now among the Salafis. Every Salafi, even every Salafi has own version of Islam. One, com <laughs> one of them even completely rejects the idea. He says there was no adult breastfeeding at all. No, he's not a scholar. Of course not. Learn next TV. Um, Farid responds, another thug, street thug from Bahrain. Salim was one of the young uh, kids, right? We have uh, Abbas Agha, brother. Abbas. Abbas. Yeah, Abbas. Uh, hello, Abbas. How are you, Abbas? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Why not Alhamdulillah Shaitan, ya Abbas? Uh, because I praise to Allah. 
No praise to shaitan, that's for you. Are you sure that Allah is not Satan? Absolutely not shaitan. No, of course not. Uh, first of all, I just want to clarify one thing. Three times you have hung up me last time. Mm. So be brave this time. Be brave this time. Don't yeah, Abdul, I'm really scared of Just you. A little you know, I'm very scared, yeah, Abbas. When you call, well, I start to shiver. Time will tell. Time mm, will tell, inshallah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sometimes. Did you say inshallah before you called me, uh, Abbas? No, I didn't. Why okay, I? so so you are not even a real Muslim. Because you mm, must okay, say inshallah. Don't, so doesn't, the Quran, do? doesn't the Quran say you must say inshallah before okay, you do something? Do? So now Allah what? will not help you. Okay, what should I do if I'm not a real Muslim? Tell me, what should I do? Uh, well, I don't know. It's your life. It's your I choice. You, I can't force you to do I things. Tell you. I tell you I tell to you leave this do. evil tit-sucking cult. I tell you what... I tell you to leave this evil tit-sucking cult of Muhammad and come back home let to me, Jesus. If you if you are truly a sincere Muslim... Uh, sorry, sincere human being with your life. It's your life. It's your soul. Why are you following the Prophet who ordered women like your mother and sister... To, to give their tits to adult grown-up men with, like you, with a big beard. You're nervous again. Let me speak. Why are you not letting I, me I'm, speak? You're uh, who, nervous. Who, who is nervous? Okay, let me speak then. I speak. Take a breath. Okay. Take a breath. Yeah. Okay, just let me educate you and anybody else oh, listening right educate. now. Any, please educate anybody, me. Anybody ever feel like, like a person like you telling you, anyone that you leave Islam, uh -huh. my advice to them is just on the sport, say Kalma Shahadat again, yeah. like I'm going to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. On the spot, in okay. case if you think you've done some kufar. Okay, why, why, why are you putting Muhammad there? Why are you not uh, removing the name the of Muhammad and put uh, Abraham there? So Ibrahim the or, uh, Islam, or uh, anyone else? Why you must say Muhammad in the Shahada? One. Why, why? why are you putting Muhammad in the Shahada? Why not uh, Moses? Yes, yes. Why not Musa? Why not Ibrahim? Why, not, why only Muhammad? Yeah, I, because the final message was introduced through Muhammad sallallahu alaihi Who cares? Doesn't Muhammad say all the messengers I'm are the same? You. Doesn't your prophet say answer. all the messengers are the same? Let me answer. Let me. Of course, they are the same. Who say they are not so the why, same? So why? Okay, happened? if they are the same, what why are happened? you? Why are you putting Muhammad in front and put him in the same sentence See? with Allah? Isn't that kufr? Isn't that shirk? Okay, okay. Listen, uh, what, you you are answering yourself, asking me a question, or answering okay, yourself. Go ahead, Let me answer go the question. Ahead, Let me yeah, answer I'll, the question. I'll pass pizza, so, pizza so delivery boy. You, go ahead, go ahead. You do you do call your God Father, but you don't behave. In, you don't take him as a father. What wow. we're saying is our God behave as a father. He doesn't ask us to call a what, father. What, do you, what did you say? Did you just I, call Allah I, Father? Guys, you I'm heard him. You. Abbas, you just called Allah Father. I challenge you I, to show me a I hadith. I challenge you to I show didn't. me a Quranic ayah where Allah is called Father. Go ahead. I didn't. Don't yes, you said it. It's recorded. You said <laughs> your Allah is Father. You said it. I didn't. I yes, you, you did. did. Stop let, lying. It's recorded. You Are you going to let me speak or no? You're too nervous. You no, said it. No, nervous. you said it. Everybody heard you. Show me the ayah. Show me the hadith. From your uh, from your prophet or from Allah from the Quran where Allah is called Father. Go ahead. Are you sure you you gonna let me speak? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, give me the ayah. I, I want can you. I, can I, can I want. I want you to act you like a man and back up what you just said. You said Allah is Father. Everybody heard you. I didn't. Yes, you did. Idiot. I didn't. Yes, you did. You didn't even let me finish my sentence. I say well, you're not we, even a man. You're a kid, man. Okay, go, go. We, continue, continue. I said we take Allah as a father, but we don't call him a father. You That's take Allah saying. as a father? When did that happen? Show me where any ayah that says that. No, show me any me. ayah that says that. The next I challenge you to show me an ayah where it says we take Allah as a father, but, but Allah is not the, father. Go ahead. No, 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 uh, no, no, Abbas, no, no, no. keep your, digging a hole your, for your prophet. Your, keep keep your embarrassing your prophet. Life and air. Your question should be sincere question. How you take Allah as a father? You don't call him a father, but how? That Show me the be. ayah that that backs up what no, you no. just said. Uh, Ab no. Abdul, I can say now. No. I uh, Rob Christian can say yesterday, brother. I mm. uh, I built I built a huge building, brother, uh, and I'm a millionaire. But where's my proof? Show me, show me an ayah that backs up what you just said. Show me an ayah from the Quran yeah. or one hadith from the mouth of your prophet where it says, no, no. we take Allah as a father, but Allah is not father. Go ahead. Did, did, I, did I say that this is in the yes, Quran? Yes, you said it. The, it's yeah, recorded. How many times do, I, do you need to repeat yourself? You already said it twice. Say, I didn't say that. I didn't say it was in the ayah. So why are you putting words in my mouth? Now, now this, is, this is the point here. That's mm -hmm. what you do with Muslims. 
and some Muslim young Muslims come. They're not even trained how to debate and. Abdul, argue Abdul, Abdul like give me that. the ayah you, to back up what you said. Give me the ayah, you, please. Like Are you going young, to be a man young, or a little young, kid? Young, Should I treat you like a kid? A kid? You're an adult, right? Uh, Mm-hmm. Did I say I'm going to show you the worst? Did I should say that? So you are no, you I are making your own version of Islam. You are you making your, your, you you have your own version of Islam, yes. just like Fifi, I Fifi I and uh, Mimi, right? You can play with this game with the kids, not with me, man. You I are a kid. You are, you are a kid. Every you are a kid, kid in a in a big man's body, uh, Abbas. I did not say. I did you not said, say boy, listen, I, Abbas. You said Allah. We 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 take I, Allah as a father, but Allah is not a father. Okay, I, show me from your most is, authentic books, like the Quran or Hadith. Show me where where Muhammad is saying that or Allah is saying, I am like I we believers. We take Allah as a father, but Allah is not father. Show me. Go ahead. I didn't say that this is the worst or Hadith. You idiot! I didn't say that. I so why are you Muslims saying it? Take. So you are you are being a little munafiq, mushrik boy. Man. Right? Forcing Christianity, forcing Christianity into Islam. That's what you're saying. That's Christianity, no, my friend. That's not Islam. You see, you're talking to me. You're improving in your wisdom. Now Abdul, you're Abdul, me a question. let us go. Let us go back to the Shahada. Let us go back to the Shahada. When you say, when you pray, um, uh, Abdul, Abbas, don't hang. Let, don't force me to hang up on you. Let us have a nice discussion. When you fo- when you pray, listen, Abdul, Abdul. When you pray, when you pray, uh, Abbas, when you pray. No pray, no pray. You nervous again? When you pray, Shahana. when you Shahana. pray, listen, you listen. Don't you say, don't you say, when you pray, don't you say the following? Let me put it on the screen, because when I say something, I want to show it here. This is the screen. I you talking about Shahada. Okay, read what it says here. Read what it says. It's on the screen. Can you read the Arabic for me? There's nothing. There's nothing on the. I, I'm not on YouTube. I'm on Skype. Okay, open YouTube and read for me. Mute YouTube, mute the page, and read what it says on the screen, brother. Just, just read it for me. Just read it for me. No, you do it. Else you're going to say you're up because you don't know Arabic. I want you to read. You're the Muslim. You I'm not the Muslim. Arabic. You are the Muslim, I, I, brother. Is the, is the, is the, you are the one who played the game of Arabic. Uh, Allah, Allah. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, very, I'm, I'm very bad. Compared to you, I, I, I'm, well, I can't uh, even read one a single know, word. I know, I know I'm telling you prophesying right now. When Brother, teach me, teach me Arabic. Yalla, yalla. Teach when, me Arabic. When you will be cornered by, by me, yeah, yeah, inshallah. Yeah, yeah, you're soon. cornering and me. You read, Abdul, Abdul, stop. Stop, Abdul. Read, read what is on the screen. Yalla. Don't say I can't uh, open YouTube. I, I'm not. A, I'm not on yalla YouTube. Yalla, you yalla, 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 yeah, Abbas. Just read it. Read uh, it. Okay, let me help you because clearly you don't know how to read, right? That's uh, that's the excuse. You don't know. You don't want to embarrass yourself. That's why, right? Be honest. You psychic. Okay, read then. Read, read. Don't don't stop. Excuse. Read. Keep saying that. Go on. Read, uh, read it. Read, yeah, Pakistani boy. Read. <laughs> You're laughing, I'm not on YouTube, you idiot. Yeah, I'm yes, you on are on YouTube. Open <laughs> YouTube. You can do that within two seconds. Go to my page. Op- if you can call me, you can also open YouTube. Read it and explain to me what is happening um, on the screen. Okay, 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 okay. I'm driving right now, so I can't read. You're my always driving. driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always driving. What's wrong with drive, driving? Drive safe, though, yeah. Abbas. Look, uh, put, that's uh, what I'm talking Go to on you. the I'm side on of the road. We don't want you to get killed or kill anyone. Put anyone's life in danger. Go on the side of the road. Go, go to the left or go to the right, whatever you want. Choose, brother, and read what Rob, is on the screen. Rob, I'm, Rob, I'm on speaker. I'm yalla, on speaker. Yalla, yalla, Don't worry about it. Yalla, yalla, Abbas. Yalla. No, no, no yalla, yalla, Abbas. Danger, yeah? yalla, Abbas. Stop uh, driving your taxi or your pizza delivery car and read what is on the screen. Stop wasting time. I don't have that time. Also, I'm, I'm going to hang YouTube. up on you. I'm, I'm, I'm Read, uh, Abbas, don't waste car. my time. I, my life show is not about you. Either you're going to behave... Why don't you just... Why don't you just read I'm it? I'm going to count. I'm you? going I, to I, count. Because I'm I want listening. you to read. You're the Muhammad and not me. You're are the Muslim, you not me. Again? Read. Are you, are you yeah, because you're wasting my time and everybody is my witness. You're wasting my time. Guys, you see that this guy's running from me yeah, again. I'm running. He always guys, look, the... look who's running. You are the Muslim and you are forcing I'm me to read your Muslim. You're a Muslim prayer. Yeah, munafiq. You're the Muslim. Yalla. Farjini ardak tafak. Yalla, ya Abbas. Farjini ardak tafak. Yalla. 
show me show me uh, how you I'm, read I'm, the arabic i'm no. i'm heading i am heading somewhere and i can't stop the car and watch youtube so i yes, can you listen can to you stop your car you can you people can. can people can people can read it read read, read, I, read I, arabic I teach us arabic yalla show me how 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 beautiful you recite arabic yalla it's not about my arabic or no arabic. it's not arabic. about me Don't you Muslim also about, say you Europe Christian don't know? About, so if I don't know Arabic, you you can teach me. Oh, about, teach me. Okay, read the English then. Read the English then. Okay. Let me let me, let me help you, Ya Abbas. Let me help you. Assalamu alayka, ayyuha nabiyu, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatu. Explain what it means. Oh, so you're not talking about Shahada now anymore? No, what no, no, no. Read. Is it? Oh, no, is, isn't this your I prayer? I was, I was going to. I was going to correct okay, you. Okay, read, Shahada, read, read, read. We will go there. We read. Let's talk about. Read Shahada English. First, reading. Let's, translate let's, to English. Let's, 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 translate let's to English. Yeah, Abbas. Abbas. Don't waste my time. Translate to English. <laughs> you can't do that to me, Rob. You can't do that to me. <laughs> read, yeah, Abbas. I'm going to hang up on you. Read. Uh, of course you will. Yeah, I, of course. I told you you gonna see, you asked me to read, and now you want to change topic now. No, because you. You forced me to read. I read for you. No problem. I read for you. Okay, now it's your turn. I'm giving you the ball back. Explain what I just read. Rob, Explain. Rob, you ask Abbas, question about don't, don't force me to what treat you like a kid. Are you a kid? You want me to Look, treat you? Muslim, Do you want me to I'm force you to go to I'm Mecca and kiss the black stone? Man. Don't, don't force me to embarrass your prophet. To God. Listen, Abu, Abdul. Don't force me to embarrass your prophet. You try it. Translate. Translate you and teach it, us what, what this it. little kid here on the screen is saying. Go ahead. Try to, try Yalla to Abbas, yeah, pizza delivery boy. Yalla Abbas. Yalla Abbas. Yalla Abbas, don't waste time. Yalla Abbas, so help the Ummah. The Ummah is drowning, Yalla Abbas. The, the Muslims are leaving Islam. Help them. Help the Ummah, ya akhi. Help the Ummah. Alhamdulillah, there are many people becoming okay. Muslim right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many, many people. Many people. Yeah, 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 brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. If somebody, if keep somebody gets telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that. Yeah, Abbas. Whatever puts you asleep at night. Whatever puts you asleep. Now explain what the kid just said. I read what the kid said okay. in Arabic. Explain. Yalla, teach us Islam. Okay. No. Yalla, it yalla. That you yalla, are, Abbas. You are trying back yourself from Shahada. So you're not asking me question about Shahada. Why? Okay, explain the Shahada. Me. Yalla, explain the Shahada, brother. Thank no problem. You. Thank you very much. Now okay. you you ask me question why Muhammad is in there. Yeah. And I was going And what does it mean? What does the sha- st- start from one? What does it mean? What does the Shahada mean? Shahada is a testimony of faith that I believe there's no god but Allah subhanahu okay, wa ta'ala. Okay, explain what these words are saying. What are, what are these words saying? Explain. What do you mean? Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Okay, translate. I bear witness that there is no god but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. Okay. Okay, explain okay. these words. I'm explaining to you right. Okay, explain. You know, what explain. do you want to know about that? You asking me questions. Okay, why okay, let, okay, let, let me let me put it this way. I may judge. I sit in in a huge room with people surrounding me i'm a judge and i ask you ya abbas ya abbas ya taxi driver abbas you you just said i bear witness that there is no god except allah and muhammad is his uh, little doggy okay now, now as a judge i will say uh, ya abbas ya abbas ya taxi driver did you see Allah with your own eyes? Did you hear Allah with your own eyes? Did you see Muhammad with your own eyes and ears? So how can you be a witness? How can you be bear witness of something that you did not see and not hear? You are, you are basically the crown witness. How are you bearing witness of something that you did not see or hear with your own eyes? Let's put it this way. You saw a mur- murder. You need to hear or, or the gunshot. You must have seen the guy who is shooting the poor victim. A murder just happened in front of you. I'm a judge and I'm asking you, okay, you are bearing witness. Witness of what? Are you an eyewitness? Did you hear it? Did you see Muhammad? Did you see Jibreel? Mm. You see mm. how you change your question. You no, I, I'm not question. changing. You are, <laughs> I am addressing what you said. You say, you I bear speak. witness. Okay, go ahead. Explain. I let you speak. I let you speak. Mm-hmm. Don't be too nervous when you speak to me. Just I am very down. nervous. Don't yes. you hear? Everybody yes. is laughing. Who is with? This is what the lie does. Lie never lets you explain. Truth Abdul, Abdul. Come out. Like, I'm the I judge. Never. And I'm the, the truth, judge. I'm asking you. Did you see? Did you see Muhammad? Did you see and hear Jibreel? Did you see Allah? Go ahead. 
I heard you. You keep repeating yourself. You're too nervous. Because man. you're not Come answering. You're not. An you're. You're. You, every Abbas, time last warning. Test, you're not going to answer. Me. You told me Can to go be, back to the shada. We Can we went back to the shada, minutes? and you don't want to answer. Go ahead. I'm done. Go go. Just go. Just go. Abbas, you're 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 a waste of time. No time for our kids. He is telling me to go back to the shahada. We go back to the shahada. I'm asking a very sincere question. I'm the judge. I want you to teach me, tell me how you are a witness. You say I bear witness, okay. So that means the shahada, because you cannot explain, the shahada is a joke. You were not there. You didn't see Jibreel. You didn't see Muhammad. You didn't see Allah. So how are you a witness? How are you bearing a witness as a crown witness? You see, even the shahada is a joke. And it's a complete shirk. It's complete blasphemy because you're putting the name of Muhammad in one sentence with Allah, supposedly the creator in Islam. How is that not shirk? How is that not blasphemy? Abbas, ya Abbas, ya Abbas, ya Abbas, ya Abbas, ya Abbas. <laughs> Keep driving your taxi. Please, when you're done, deliver me a nice little pizza, brother. I'm hungry. And a glass of milk because we are talking today about... Uh, the tit sucking cult of Muhammad. You're finished, boy! Yeah. Kids, man. Imagine Abbas. He's going to go to the house of Mimi Hijab. And Mimi Hijab will, will only allow him to enter if he sucks uh, the titties of his wife, maybe a sister, little sister, or a mother, brother. This is the tit sucking uh, cult. Yeah. Too embarrassing to talk about. Brother, you must talk about the shahada. Okay, we talk, you don't even answer. Continue tap dancing, Ya Abbas. I mean, this is your soul. I, I, I'm not here. I don't hate you, Ya Abbas. You're only wasting your own time. You're not wasting my time. You're wasting your own life. Your own life is a huge waste for believing in a joke that was created 1400 years ago with the money, with the money of Khadija, the most richest woman, the richest woman of Mecca. With her money and with her Benjamins, with her money, Islam was created by the help also of Waraka, who was translating for Muhammad, helping Muhammad to create ayahs of the Quran. Wake up, Ya Abdul, we don't hate you. You're playing with your own life, with your own soul. soul your soul is precious. It's not a game. Ya Muslimin, look, these are your proud. Muslim apologies who can't even answer a single question. Ya Abbas, you, you're a miskeen. Akhi, inta miskeen. A Muslim will say, Wallahi, inta miskeen. Ya, ja, inta jahil, ya akhi. Inta jahil. Wallahi, inta jahil. Ya masakeen. Ya little Pakistani miskeen. Ah. Poor Pakistanis, man. He can't even try. He didn't even want to read the Arabic because he knows how I'm going to embarrass him even harder. I'm going to correct his Arabic. Not on, guys, I'm not, not trying to say, guys, again, don't force words in my mouth. I'm not claiming to be a scholar in the Arabic language, but my Arabic is good enough to spank Muhammad, to embarrass Muhammad, and his idol, his moon idol, Allah, the statue. And why are you talking to Muhammad in, while you're praying? Look, this is Abbas, right? This is Abbas, the taxi driver, the, the, uh, the pizza delivery boy. And he's saying, peace and Allah's mercy and blessing be upon you, Muhammad. Wait a second, when you pray, why are you praying to Muhammad? On you, Muhammad. Isn't Muhammad dead? Why are you committing blasphemy? Why are you committing shirk? So who is the real God? Who is the real God in Islam? It's Muhammad, the prophet, the Nabi. Right, Muslims? Why are you praying to Muhammad? Isn't this shirk? Isn't this blasphemy? Yes, Shahro, or whatever your name is. Call me, call me. Call me. Are you a Muslim? Is this guy a Muslim? I don't know. You guys, uh, the admins uh, are putting him on timeout. Are there any Muslims who can answer questions better than Abbas, the... Waster of his soul, of his time. Any any hero of Islam who dares to call me life on air? 
My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Abbas, it's enough. Stop embarrassing yourself, man. We don't hate you. Honest to God, I don't hate you. I think you're a useful idiot like all of these uh, kids. Mimi Hijab, Abu Noor, who is embarrassed of his prophet, tit sucking business of his prophet. Mimi Hijab, Fifi, Fifi, brother. Every Muslim, you see, every Muslim has his own version of Islam. One doesn't believe in adults uh, suckling. Other one uh, believes in it, but he says only Salem. It was only for Salem, brother. Other one, the Fifi says, uh, there's no adult sucking, brother. Audhu Billah, there is no for adults. So who should we believe? Who's the real Muslim, guys? And both of them are Salafis. Imagine. Both Mimi Hijab and Farid Response are both Salafis. And remember, Mimi Hijab doesn't even believe that Allah has a hands, Allah has a shin. But Farid Response needed to correct Mimi Hijab. And he said, no, yes, Allah has hands, Allah has feet, Allah has a nose, Allah has a penis, Allah has two right hands, Allah has two right shins, and so on. Brother, Allah does not have a left hand, brother. Right? Allah has only two right hands, brother. Oh man, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, guys, I don't want to waste your time and my time and Abbas's time. Guy can't even answer a question. He asked me to go back to the Shahada. Okay, I'm asking you a, a very simple question about the Shahada. You can't even answer a question. <laughs> Keep tap dancing, yeah. You, you, you Muslims are all like Michael Jackson. Can you do the moonwalk for me? <laughs> Can you open your cam and do the moonwalk for me, brother? <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, you see, Fifi... Fifi completely rejects the idea. But uh, the hadith is sahih. Brother, Sunan Ibn Majah, 1944. Sunan Ibn Majah, one of the Sitta, one of the six books. Hadith number 1944 says the following. It was narrated that Aisha, the mother of the believers, herself said, the verse of stoning and adult breastfeeding ten times was revealed from Allah to Muhammad. And the paper was with me under my pillow. When the a messenger of Allah died, a sheep came in, a, team sh a, a tame sheep came in and started to chew on the paper. And this sheep became the most wanted sheep in the history of all sheep. Eating the Quran of Allah. Where is Jibreel to protect the Quran from the mouth of this sheep? <laughs> hey brother, Allahu Akbar. This sheep just became uncreated because it ate the Quran, the uncreated Quran of Allah. <laughs> and automatically the sheep became very holy, brother. I mean... Don't you Muslims always say that you memorize the Quran by heart? Where where are the stoning, the ayah of stoning, and where is the uh, ayah of adult breastfeeding ten times? What happened? You Muslims always say to us, you memorized the Quran for the last 1400 years. Can you show me these two ayahs? I want to read those two ayahs, brother. Can you find me the sheep? Can you? Find me the sheep. Can you hire a detective to find out where the sheep is hiding? Get him to me. I want to read those. We, we should, uh, you know, open the mouth of the sheep, take the, the eyes out, and we can read them finally and put them back. Use gorilla glue, super glue, and glue them back in the Quran because uh, the sheep is still alive. Became uncreated like the Quran, brother. Holy sheep, brother. Any Muslim can f tell us where the sheep is hiding, please. We need to make the Quran perfect again because the Quran without those two ayahs is not complete. 
Meh. Yeah. The eternal sheep, yeah. The eternal sheep, brother. I mean, this sheep, man, is dangerous. It's more dangerous than Satan in Islam. I mean, come on, man. This is the sheep, guys, that they are talking about. Look. This sheep. <whistles> David Wood has... <laughs> I mean, look at the, look at the photo skills, man. Uh, David Wood became the goat. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this. Muslims are uh, are even making fun of uh, the story, guys. They are making fun of Aisha herself, right? They are making fun of Aisha herself. Uh, and Fifi, I'm talking about Umm al-Mu'minin, yeah, Fifi, you are calling Aisha a liar. You are calling Aisha a liar for saying this. This is Sahih. Look, classed as Sahih by Ibn Hazm and Hassan by Al Albani. I'm taught on for Umm al Mu'minin, ya akhi. Habibat al Nabi, ya akhi. She is the, the Habibi. Let me give you a kiss, yeah, baby bride, Aisha, brother. She is my Habibti, ya akhi. I'm taught on for Umm al Mu'minin. How dare you, ya Fifi? You're calling her a liar. This is from Aisha, the mouth of Aisha. She is Habib al Rasul. Habibi Prophet. How dare you, yeah, Fifi, rejecting the whole story? Fifi said in this video, right? In this video that he made about David Wood, he completely rejects it. Well, it's Sahih. Sahih. He puts uh, Ibn Ishaq under the bus. I think it was Ibn Ishaq, right? He puts Ibn Ishaq under the bus. He throw put <laughs> Ibn Ishaq under the bus. But we know all the shiuch cannot reject it. It's Islam. Now let's, let us guys watch a small video clip. I think you saw this video clip before. But let me put it again on the screen. And enjoy this unbelievable video clip that happened live on air in Egypt and the whole ummah in Egypt and the Arab world drowned because of the video and what happened what what was written on the newspaper enjoy it like I'm always enjoying it let us play the video for you guys this video I'm sure you've seen this video before guys now with subtitles subtitles brother I hope Abbas while driving uh, Abbas Drive safe, don't kill anybody, but watch and listen to this video, yeah, best. And people, Muslims, you enjoy this video. This fatwa that happened in the Islamic Arab world, they wrote it on newspaper. What did they wrote on newspaper? That every woman who is working, like this woman here, she must take out her titties and give her titties to her colleagues so that they become like their, like her sons. They, they cannot look at her beautiful body that she going to become her, like their mother. Imagine you have a TV guy, you have a sound engineer, all of them become her son. Fatwa. Fatwa. <laughs> ما فهمتش فقلبت عشان ما فهمتش قلبت الجورنال. يا دي أمة جرون ذيس ذات داي جايز وين ذي ريد ذيس اند سو ذيس اون تي في. العنوان بيقول فتوى يجب على زوجات رجال الأعمال أن وات؟ شي إز تو إمبارست تو ريد إت. شي إز تو إمبارست. Imagine if this is your mother, guys. Look what it says. She must, <clears throat> she must give her breast to her adult colleagues to suck on it. At least five times. Back in the old days, it was ten times. But Allah abrogated, made it five. She must give her titties five times, five different days to every colleague. Imagine she has hundred colleagues. The garbage guy, the guy who 
brings her food, clothing, the camera guy, the sound engineer, and so on and so on. Her taxi driver, maybe Abbas himself. She is too embarrassed to read it. Wow. ملخصها ان الزوجة التي تتعامل مع غرباء ويدخلون منزلها بصفة دورية فان عليها ان تقوم بارضاعهم حتى يصبحون محرمين عليها they become haram for them معهم بلا حرج باعتبار انهم اصبحوا اولادها اولادها they're her children they become her children الحقني الحقني يا فضل تشير Help me. The ones who are working with me, what should I do to them? I have to give my titties to them so they can drink my milkshake? Yes. Al-Ha'ni ya Fadilat al-Shaykh. Most honorable, respectful Shaykh. Ya Shaykh from Al-Azhar. Ya Shaykh, ya Fadilat al-Shaykh. Help me, help me, help me. The poor woman is saying. Anahum asbahu awladha. الحقني 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 يا فضيلة الشيخ اللي بيشتغلوا معايا دول اعمل فيهم ايه سواقين والزملاء والمصورين اعمل ايه؟ اعمل ايه؟ اعمل ايه؟ وات شود اي وات شود يو دو؟ اعمل ايه في الجرنان؟ ذا بور ليدي شي ثينكس هيز جوينج تو هيلب هير وذ ذيس ديزاستر وات دوز هي سي تو هير؟ وات دوز هي سي تو هير؟ What is the answer of the sheikh? Ya Fadila the sheikh. Look at this filthy bastard. Look at this filthy bastard laughing. Imagine this is your mother, and he's saying to her without any shame, "You have to follow the Sunnah of Muhammad." Right? What should I do to them? All these drivers, uh, Abbas. Do what? <laughs> do what is in the, in the newspaper. Oh man, he's laughing. Oh man, applause. Suck, give your titties, brother. Oh man, give your titties to, to your colleagues. Look at his laugh. He's laughing like Muhammad. Muhammad was laughing. Muhammad was laughing when the one poor woman, when he told her, he forced her to give her titties to Salim or Salim, whatever this guy's name is. Filthy tit sucking cult of Muhammad. Yes. Look at him laughing like. Uh, imagine this is your mother. This poor lady, she's your mother. According to prof to to to. These shiyukh, these evil sons of Satan like their prophet, they must, she must give her titties to her colleagues. Poor lady, man. Do what is in the newspaper. It's so funny, bro. It's so funny. It's so funny. Brother, brother, brother. Hey brother, this is Islam is so funny. Even for the Muslim, they are laughing about their prophet, man. Let me give you the link to the video, guys. Bookmark it, save it. Enjoy the video, Muslims. Imagine this poor lady is your mother. She's your mother. Imagine uh, Fifi come to your house, Muslims. Lili, Mimi, all of these garbage guys. Before they can enter the house, your mother must give her breast. Your sister, your daughter must give her breast to them, according to the prophet of Islam. Hey brother, the tit sucking business of Muhammad. This is a religion, Muslims. Why are you in this filth called Islam? Why are you in this filth of Muhammad called Islam? How dare you, man? How dare you? This can be your mother, your sister, man. How dare you, man? Evil cult of Muhammad. Try not to get disgusted of this evil, nasty cult, man. This sick, perverted cult of Muhammad. Any Muslim? We have more than 200 people watching. Don't tell me Muslims are not here. We have at least three dislikes. So I know Muslims are watching and they are enjoying the show, the tit-sucking business of Muhammad. This is Islam. Now guys,
let me destroy Fifi. Fifi was rejecting this hadith. Fifi said, brother, we reject the hadith, brother. That's what Fifi said, right? Fifi, Farid response said, sister Fifi said, there is no adult breastfeeding in Islam, brother. This hadith is da'if, it's rejected. That's what Fifi said. But Abdul, who are you? Who are you to say it's da'if or rejected matruk? No, it's has sahih. According to Ibn Hassan, it's sahih. And uh, according to Al-Albani, it's Hassan. It's good. Good and even authentic. The most highest grade. Sahih. Sahih. Speaking from Kaif. Hira. 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 It's Sahih. 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 Abdul, who are you? Who are you? Yeah, yeah. You're a joke, man. You're, you're a coward. You liar. Stop deceiving your Muslim audience. It's Sahih. Imagine, guys, they are calling a Sahih Hadith Da'if, rejected. Even Da'if is not rejected. And they are throwing Ibn Ishaq under the bus, right? Fifi is throwing Ibn Ishaq under the bus. Poor Ibn Ishaq. Poor, poor Ibn Majah. Right? Who are you compared to Ibn Majah, compared to Ibn Ishaq? Who are you, yeah, Fifi? Why are you throwing Ibn Majah under the bus? Why are you throwing Ibn Ishaq under the bus? Who are you? Now, guys, let us read what the following article says. I found this article on the World Wide Web. Let us, grow, let us go together. Are you with me, guys? Let us go together through this article and see how easy it is to spank Fifi, who is rejecting the hadith, from Sunan Ibn Majah, hadith number 1944. Sunan Ibn Majah, hadith number 1944, this one. Fifi, the new sheikh of Islam, brother, rejecting it. This little munafiq. Let us read it. The critics of Islam, that's us, that's you, Christians. We are the critics of Islam. Look what it says. Read with me. Many critics of Islam point to this humorous, this funny hadith. Yes, that's, it's very funny, brother. Sheep coming in and eating the eyes of Allah. Adult breastfeeding and stoning of people who commit zina. Adultery, right? Fornication. As a sign of the Quran's corruption. That's true. The argument is that there are two verses missing from the Quran because a tame sheep... The sheep of Aisha came and ate them. Flipped Muhammad. Flipped Muhammad, the dead Muhammad. <laughs> and uh, eating the, the, the ayahs that were underneath him, under his bed. Under the pillow of Aisha. Well, the, a funny story. The two verses are not missing. None of the ulama. So the verses are not missing. Ah, they did exist, according to the ulama. None of the ulama. But wait. Wait, brother. Fifi. Sister Fifi here ju just said, Fifi is saying that these, uh, these ayahs did not exist at all. He completely rejected. So you see how easy to spank uh, Fifi? Sister Fifi is lying. Yes, Sister Fifi is lying. Well, a funny story, the two verses are not missing. None of the ulama, the scholars, the high Islamic scholars, not Fifi, the liar, deny, none of them deny that the verses on the 10 breastfeeding adults Right? And stoning adulterers who were once part of the Quran. So they did. They were once part of the Quran. Aha. Uh -huh. So Fifi is lying. Yes, Fifi is lying. But other Sahih Hadiths make clear that they have been abrogated in their recitation. You see it? So Fifi is a liar. Yes, Fifi lied. Yeah, welcome, Walter, and others like Walter. Welcome to the live show. We're talking about the tit-sucking business of Muhammad. Muhammad started a nice tit-sucking business 1400 years ago. And he had a lot of uh, Sahaba used to love the milkshake of the women, the Muslim women, like their mothers and sisters and so on. Anyway, but the other Sahih Hadith make clear that they have been both abrogated in their recitation. So they used to be in the Quran. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. And so they are not meant to be in the Quran now anymore. Okay. Had the sheep not eaten the paper, the Quran would still not contain the verses. 
So Allah made the verses disappear. So the Sahaba used to memorize even these two words, and they were known by the Sahaba. Guys, are you understanding what's going on? The Sahaba, Ali, Omar, used to recite the, the two ayahs. But wait, Fifi said they did not exist. <laughs> Fifi is lying. They did exist, right? They did exist. Now here's the Muslim response, guys. Watch. Guys, I hope you're taking notes. Learn how to deal with these Muslim arguments, right? Are you with me, guys? I hope I'm not putting you asleep. Yeah, because it's too embarrassing. Fifi, guys, Fifi is too embarrassed about the tit sucking business of his prophet, right? And he's condemning, basically, Fifi, guys, is condemning Muhammad. Fifi is condemning Muhammad and Aisha for reporting it. Ya Fifi, ikafi tut'an fi umm al mu'minin ya ya munafiq ya jaban. You're not even a Muslim, man. Too embarrassed. Too embarrassed. Modern Muslim apologists are too embarrassed about the tit sucking business of Muhammad. Imagine this is your mother, this is your daughter, and Muhammad comes to your mother and daughter and say, You must take out your titi and you must give it to Ahmed, brother, or Ali, or Hussein, or Hassan. Imagine this is your mother, man. How can you stay in this filth of Muhammad for more than one second? Any smart Muslim should leave Islam, leave Islam, and become a Christian today. Anyway, let us continue. So the Muslim response is. Muslims primarily respond to this hadith by claiming that it's da'if. Ah, uh, this is this is fifi. Ah, these evil liars and deceivers claim that it's da'if. <laughs> fifi, you are too embarrassed. You you have to lie and say it's da'if, right? Yeah, fifi. Uh, yeah, fifi. Where are you, fifi? Yeah, yeah, munafiq. Why are you calling it da'if? Any Muslim? Yeah, Muslimin, are you there? I want you to call in and defend the tit sucking business of Muhammad, of your Prophet. Did anyone find the sheep, guys? I, I'm, I'm, uh, let us help the Muslims, the poor Muslims, to find the sheep. And this sheep is still having the eyes of Allah inside its stomach. Anyone found the sheep? Report the sheep. Call 001, the Rob Squad. That's the phone number to call. Right? If you find a sheep, call 001, the Rob Squad. And I will pick up the phone, brother. Or better, you know what? Call 001, the Rob Christian. And you will, you will see my number on Skype. Any Muslim? Brother? Yeah, guys, you, you know what I found out yesterday? I kid you not. Sharia tube, YouTube is such... An embarrassing platform. It's becoming such an embarrassing platform. Some words that you type even in the live chat, right? Let's say you're typing something like this. And uh, the, the, uh, the moderators, Google moderators, remove it. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Mustafa, are you there? Hello, yeah, I'm here. Okay, you're a Muslim, Mustafa? You're a Muslim? Yes, yeah. Yes, I'm okay. Muslim. Okay, welcome. So, are you are you a Sunni? Are you a Shia? What are you? Yeah, Mustafa. I'm, I'm Sunni. You're what? I'm Sunni. Sunni. Okay, Sunni. beautiful. You're a Sunni. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Mustafa. Yes. What do you want to say about the tit sucking business of your prophet? Go ahead. Okay. First off, mm -hmm. I'm can you speak Muslim. up? Speak up. Come closer to the mic. I want to hear you because I don't want to put words in your mouth. Okay. So come come closer to the mic okay. and speak up like a man. Go ahead. Okay, first off, the hadith that was mentioned where the Prophet, um, um, the prophet had what? let the... What uh, did, can, can you repeat again? Simple. Because I, it's, I have difficult time to understand what you're saying. Please speak loud and clear. Where the Prophet 
told the girl to suckle. She did not suckle him from her breast. It was put into a cup. Okay, show me the hadith. Show me the hadith. Okay, show me the hadith. Fast al Barri 48 14. Here. It was not put this is the hadith. The hadith is in front of you. Go to Fast al Barri 48 14. What? <clears throat> it reads. It Here's the hadith. I'm, I'm, I'm on sunnah.com. Here's the hadith. Can you read it? It's on the screen. Go ahead. Okay. Now her breast. It was put into a cup. The milk. Okay. It's on Second the screen. Thing. Read it. Read it. Abdul, read it. Okay, this is the hadith. Okay, this is the hadith. Go ahead. Read it. It's on, Can you see the screen? It's on the screen. I put it on the screen. Go ahead. Read it. Okay. <laughs> so, Faf al-Barri. Reads, no, no, read what is on the screen. This is this is this is sunnah.com. Go ahead. Okay. Can you go to fast al Barri 4814? Abdul, don't waste my time. Look, it's on the screen, read it. 4814. Abdul. It's on the screen. Don't waste my time, my friend. Read the context. You can't no I have to read the context. You can't do that. Okay, here's the context. That's called read it. Deceiving. Okay. Mm. Now go to fast al Barri 4814. Now I'm waiting for you to read the hadith. It's on the screen. Go to Fath al Barri 4814. Little coward. Waste, waste of time. Waste of time. And uh, it's Fath al Barri. You idiot. You can't even pronounce the name correctly. Fath al Barri. Idiot. Fath al Barri, guys, is basically someone. Was commentating on Sahih al Bukhari. <laughs> Abdul, it's on the screen. Read it. Why are you not reading? This is the story. Mustafa, yeah, Mustafa, read what is on the okay. screen. Read what's on the okay. screen. Read. I'm so I'm glad that you have admitted that you can't answer and you can't go answer. Answer by reading. Okay. Reading and then we will answer. Read. Okay. No, no, okay. Let's, oh, okay, let's go to the Tam Sheikh. Who is this Hadith Hassan by? Abdul Reed. It's Hassan by Albani. Now, I want you to look up who Albani is. Okay, who is Albani? He's a criticized scholar. He has been, um, he's, he's a criticized scholar. Or it does not scholars. say Albani. Read, read. Okay, yes, read. it does. Go to the Hadith. Abdul, Abdul, who is Ibn Hassan? 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 Mrs. Rob, go to the Hadith or you're a fraud. You're an idiot, man. How dare you, man, to insult me on my own live show? Don't don't force me, guys. I'm not in the mood to, to insult Muhammad, but you're forcing. Did you hear what he called me? Abdul, are you going to read or, or I'm going to block you? Read. I'm giving, I'm read. Giving, read. I'm to read. Yeah, Mustafa, read. Coward, context. read. Go to Faf al Barri 48. It's Fath al Barri. You can't even say and the name correctly, you idiot. Waste of time, man. Go learn how, how, how it's called before you force me to do things on my own live show. Who are you, idiot? Last chance, last chance. Read. If you can't go to Fath read, read. Don't waste my time. Read. Here, read this one. If you can't go read, what does it say here? What does Ibn Hassam say here? Read. Read, read, read. This is Islamweb.com. Read what it says. Don't waste my time. Last time. Last um, this is my final don't waste my time. My final warning. Read what it says. What is what does it say? What does it say about the hadith of Sunan bin Majah in 1944? Read. This is not this is not Albani. This is Ibn Hassam. What is Ibn Hassam saying? And I, I challenge you to say that Ibn Hassam is a filthy liar and deceiver. Can you say that? Read the Arabic. Who? Okay. Okay. Read. Read. The Tam Sheep Hadith, right? Yes. Okay. 1944, Sinan Ibn Majah. Read. Okay. So, so the Tam Sheep Hadith is graded Hassan by Albani. Okay. Forget about Albani. Forget about Albani is a filthy liar and deceiver like you. Read what here okay. it says about Ibn Hassan. Narrated by Muhammad Ibn Ishaq. Okay. 
Abdul Reed. This is uh, this has nothing to do uh, with Ibn Ishaq. Read what it says here. Islamweb.com. Okay, so I can give you the link. If you are a little coward, read the Arabic. So breastfeeding was um, abrogated, okay? Yeah. What does it say about this hadith? It's, it's talking about the same hadith. Do you see it? If you can read Arabic, it's talking about Sunan okay. Ibn Majah, 1944. What yeah. does it say? Okay. Read. Okay. Here, go to um, Sahih al-Bukhari, book 82, hadith. Yeah, yeah, munafiq, ya jaban, read ya miskeen. Don't okay. force me okay. to insult your prophet. Don't uh, force me to embarrass your prophet. Read ya munafiq, ya jaban. You little coward, you. Read. Coward, read. This is about the hadith. Read. book 82. Coward. Ya jaban ibn jaban. Read. You little coward, read. 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 Coward. Okay, enough is enough, guys. Little coward. See? I'm not going to entertain you, you little coward. Look what it says. Ibn Hassan. Look what Ibn Hassan is saying. That Ibn Hassan. Ibn Hassan. Ibn Hassan says, وَقَالَ هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ صَحِيحِ what did Ibn Hazm say? Here. Who are you, man? Idiot. Brother, it's Daif. Ibn Albani. No, we are not talking about Al Albani now this time. Can you say that Ibn Hazm is a liar? No, you can't. People are going to kill you for saying that in Islam. What does Ibn Hazm say? Look what he says. You're too embarrassed to read. Yeah, you, yeah, 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 munafiq, yeah, jaban, yeah, yeah, jail. Look what it says. And he said, this hadith is authentic. وَقَالَ هَذَا حَدِيثٌ صَحِيحٌ Did you hear it? What did he say about the وقال, hadith? وَقَالَ هَذَا حَدِيثٌ صَحِيحٌ Ah, it's sahih. It's sahih, brother. Ah, forget about Al-Albani. Al-Albani is a filthy kafir, filthy munafiq. But what about Ibn Hassan? Or Hazm? Whatever his name is. Brother. It's Sahih. You see these little cowards? <laughs> this is Islam.web, guys. This is not my we website. This is your Islamic website. Let me give you the link, guys. You can put it in Google Translate and you can have fun with it. Right? Let me give you the link again. Bookmark it, guys. Because you see how the guy was tap dancing? <laughs> too, cow too coward to, to read. Sahih. Hey, brother. Filthy cowards. Yeah, Jaban, yeah, Miskeen. Just like your prophet. Keep sucking. In the meantime, keep sucking on the breast of women. Imagine, guys, if Lily wants to visit Mimi. Mim I know Mimi has a daughter. I think he, he has a kid or a son. What was it? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Imagine Lily wants to visit Mimi. Maybe drink a Pepsi at his house. If Mimi is married, his wife must suckle Lily, Ali Drama, at least five times. Because the hadith is, is da'if. No, it's sahih. Muhammad ordered women to suckle. Grown-up man. Who are you, ya, 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 munafiqeen? You evil son of Satan, who are you? If you are too embarrassed about your prophet, if you Muslims are too embarrassed about your prophet, then why are you still Muslims? I know it's embarrassing, I know. And every hadith that I was giving him, he would not read it, look. Look what this one says. Being suckled once or twice. Or one suckling or two, brother. Muhammad said, look, this is Muhammad talking. It's not enough. He must do it at least five times. And before the abrogation, ten times. Imagine, brother, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is Lily coming to see Mimi. Uh, Mimi, I want to see you. I want to drink a, uh, uh, you know, some Pepsi at your house. Uh, brother, can I suckle your wife? Next day, again, 
uh, is your wife now my, uh, my mother? No, brother, you need to continue sucking at least five times. It was ten times, but Allah abrogated it to five times. So one or two is not enough. You must do it five times, then it becomes, uh, then, then, then my wife becomes unlawful, so you cannot look at her ass anymore. Brother, brother, this is a religion, brother. Is this a religion, Muslims? This is really embarrassing, man. Imagine this is your mother and sister, man. Muslims, ya muslimin. Bas, ikaffi. Aib, ya, ya akhwan, aib, aib. Eh, al umma di, ya akhwan. Ya, 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 ya akhwan. Wake up, this is 2021. Muhammad is out of business. The tit sucking business is over. Stop. If you're too embarrassed, why are you still a Muslim? What, an, what a nasty, evil son of Satan Muhammad was, man. Imagine, this is your wife, this is your sister, this is your daughter, this is your mother we're talking about. Five sucklings, brother. Abrogated. It, was, it used to be ten, guys. Brother, it was ten before. Then you become haram to that, wo to that woman. But later, Allah abrogates it, brother. To five. Ah. Hey, brother. And look what it says, guys. These, <laughs> these little munafiq Muslims. Look what, look what it says. When the messenger of Allah died, Muhammad died, it was what is now recited of the Quran. So it used to exist before then. Right? It was in the Quran. In the heart of the Quran. And according to Ubay ibn Ka'b, we even know where, where one, at least one of the ayahs, the, 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 the stoning of zina, people who commit zina, the stoning used to be where? In Surah Al-Ahzab. That used to be as long as Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Al-Baqarah, guys, chapter 2. Is the biggest surah, right? Is the biggest chapter. Surah Al Ahzab used to be as big as Surah Al Baqarah, according to Ubay ibn Kaab, one of the Sahaba, who Muhammad told you to go to if you want to know about the Quran recitation. Ubay ibn Kaab, that Ubay ibn Kaab said that, not me. Surah Al Ahzab, it was in Surah Al Ahzab. Yes, brother. Yes. And big chance that the other ayah, the adult breastfeeding ayah, this ayah, that it was also in Surah Al-Ahzab. But Allahu Alam, Allah knows best where it is now, where it was. But we know, according to Ubay ibn Kaab, it used to be in Surah Al-Ahzab. Where in Surah Al-Ahzab? That used to be as long as Surah Al-Baqarah. But wait, more than 200 eyes are now missing. What happened to 200 ayahs? Did the God of Aisha come and enter the hearts of the believers, the heart of the Muslims, and eat the heart, eat it out of the hearts of the Muslims? You Muslims say you memorize the Quran by heart. Where are the 200 missing ayahs? Brother, where are the 200, more than 200 missing ayahs? Allahu Alam, brother. Allahu Alam. Maybe a goat, she or sheep, maybe uh, a camel ate it this time. I don't know, maybe a camel of, of Aisha ate. You know, the camel that uh, uh, the, the, the Sahaba came to, to sniff its uh, crap. It's, it smells like musk. It's, it smells like the smell of Jannah, brother. Maybe that camel ate uh, the Quran. Maybe that's why they're smelling the, 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 the crap of the camel of Aisha. Right, brother? You saw my video, right? How they used to smell the crap of the camel, brother. Of Aisha. Holy camel of Aisha, brother. Yeah. Oh man, this is embarrassing, man. Even the Muslims today are too embarrassed to read their own Muslim sources. Who are you compared to Ibn Hazm, who are you? Ibn Hazm himself. Can you say he's a liar? 
Can you call him a liar? No, you can't. He is classing it as sahih. Let's say Al Albani is a filthy liar. Al Albani is a filthy liar and deceiver. You criticize him. What about Ibn Hazm, Muslims? It's in front of you, right? Ibn Hazm says it's sahih. وقال هذا حديث صحيح. You catch it? Authentic. The most highest grace that you can give to a hadith. Authentic, صحيح. Brother. Suddenly all the Muslims today became all scholars, brother. All of them. One by one. Now, brother, if that's not embarrassing enough, what about Satan in Islam? Brother, Satan? Yes, Satan, brother. Uh, brother, imagine you're, uh, you're this guy, you're this Muslim, lovely Muslim guy with a nice little beard, and this is your wife. You just got married, brother. Guys, are you with me? I hope I'm not putting you asleep. Put, put yourself in the shoes of a Muslim like this guy. Imagine this is the Mustafa who just called me, or maybe uh, this is Abbas, the pizza delivery boy. And this is your lovely wife. Look how beautiful this Muslim wife is. She loves you a lot, brother. She makes you a lot of shish kebab, a little hummus on the side, maybe some tabbouleh on the side. Allah alam. I mean, bro, have you ever tasted uh, Arabic food before? Brother, our food is delicious. You will eat your fingers. Suddenly, one night, brother, one night, you are in bed. You worked 14 hours to provide food on the table. That your wife is going to prepare for you, brother. In the middle of the night, you are asleep. You are tired. And you hear sound. In the middle of the night, your wife is making strange noises. This wife of yours, she's making strange noises. In bed. Next to you. Guys, are you following? Give me a one, please. Uh, brother, am I putting you asleep, guys? Give me a one. Yeah, kuffar, give me a one. <laughs> yeah, kuffar. You Christians, yeah, kuffar, yeah, kafir bin kafir. <laughs> and they call us, guys, they call us kuffar. Imagine. Yeah. They are too embarrassed about the stories, about the sunnah of Muhammad. And they are, they are one, the ones who are calling us kuffar. Right? Too embarrassed about their own prophet. Imagine this is your wife. She is next to you in bed, in the night, brother, and you hear diff really strange noises coming from your wife. You wake up and you see, and you look at your wife, and she is, <clears throat> uh, brother, uh, brother, uh, wifey, wifey, what are those strange noises? You only make those noises when I'm having a quality time with you in bed. <coughs> right? Those noises. What are you doing, wifey? What are you doing? Uh, I'm asleep and you make those noises when I'm normally with you. What What are you doing? Oof, 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 oof. And she tells him, the wife tells her husband, I feel as if someone is effing me while you are asleep. What? What? Someone is effing your wife when you are next to her asleep? Dahman, Dahman to your wife? Yes, brother, that's what Islam teaches. This is Quran, chapter 55, ayah 56, tafsir al-Qurtubi. What? Your wife is having sex while you are sleeping next to her with someone else? Yes, that's what Islam teaches. And who is that someone? It's a jinn, brother. A jinn? Yes, a jinn. Oof, oof, oof. Imagine, guys, you forgot the other day, you forgot to say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu billah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. You forgot to say these words be start, before you start to F your wife. This guy put yourself in his shoes. A Muslim man, he forgot to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu billah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. The next day, you hear your wife getting F'd by a jinn, by a shaytan, brother. Shaytan is F'ing your wife. Why? Because only you forgot to recite those words. A'udhu billah. Ya khabar abyad. 
And this is this is a religion, brother. Yes, this is a religion of Muhammad, brother. Yeah, someone put the H admins. This is 18 plus. Speaking from cave, you know, this is 18 plus, brother. Oh, guys, don't you know when we talk about Islam, it's always 18 plus. Do I need to tell you something new? After so many years, I still need to remind you that when you speak about Islam, it's always 18 plus. Mayday, mayday, exactly. There is no 18 plus, there is no 6 plus, Islam is 69 plus. Uh, yeah. Brother, Tafsir al Qurtubi for chapter 55, ayah 56. Yes, see it? This is not my website. Let me give you the website. You can use Google Translate, and I'm going to help you to, to understand it. You see it? I just dropped my headset, guys, because it's, this is too this is too filthy, and then even my headset don't want to. <coughs> yeah, Tafsir al Quran, al Qurtubi. Let me give you the link, guys. 18 plus, guys, be warned. 18 plus. Chapter 55, Quran. Chapter 55, Ayah 56 of the Quran. Tafsir al Quran, al Qurtubi. You see it? Tafsir. Scrolling down. Scrolling down. Look what it says. And Mujahid said, Mujahid said, copy. Let me. I'm only using guys, Muslims. I'm only using Google Translate to help you. Figure out what Mujahid is saying. وَقَالَ Mujahid, Mujahid said, If the man has intercourse, here this is coming out funny, no? If a man has intercourse, if he wants to have uh, intercourse with his wife, not with another man, I mean, uh, come on. Google Translate, it's already embarrassing enough. You need to translate the wife as a, as a man? Anyway. So the man, if he wants to have F, if he wants to F his wife, and he does not say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, A'udhu Billah min ash-Shaytan ar-Rajim. He's not starting to do to say, Bismillah. The jinn, brother, the jinn will enter, <clears throat> and he's going to F your wife along with you. Who? The jinn, Shaytan himself, brother, is going to enter, he's going to wrap himself up around your penis, and he's going to F your wife. Brother, this is this is a religion or this is a satanic cult? I mean, look at this. You forg only because you forgot to say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, A'udhu Billah min ash-Shaytan ar-Rajim. Brother. So, Satan will F the wife? Yes, brother. Satan will F the wife of this poor Muslim guy. I mean, Satan is powerful, man. Imagine. If you don't recite these words, brother, Satan will F your wife. أعوذ بالله يا خبر أبيض إيه الأمة دي يا عمي إيه الحلاوة دي This is religion Muslims This is religion Really This is not a comedy No it's your funeral It's your janazah Muslims So the Satan will F your wife Yes And if we go to a fatwa Islam web Let me give you this link too Brother Guys, smash the like button, man. Come on. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Help your brother out. Muslims don't dare to talk about these uh, topics, man. We have to do it instead. Here. Fatwa number 15, 979. Fatwa. What is, the, what is even the topic? Look. Devils assault humans and share women <laughs> with men. <laughs> they even need to sugar. Just say the jinn, the shayateen are going to F. The wives, the women in Islam. Why are you why are you sugarcoating it? Say it as it is. The shayateen will F the Muslim women. Say it. Yanhar Aswad, Ya Khabar Abyad. Exactly, Haris Sadi. Muslims let it sink in. I know you're too embarrassed, but I know you're watching. But this is your cult. You need to deal with it. It's not my cult. It's your cult. And here is the guy who is asking this question on this website, on islamweb.org. One of the important websites, right, of Islam. 
Sunni Muslims, you can't say this is Shia. This is Sunni website, brother. Sunni website. Let me give you the link again. Maybe you missed it. Brother, RC, it doesn't say that RC. RC, it doesn't say that RC. Yeah. Read with me, guys. Here, this guy, this poor guy. I know. Imagine, put yourself in his shoes. This, this is the guy. Hey, and he's too embarrassed to say that it's, this is my wife. Right? This is about his wife. He says, a female questioner told me. Now, my wife told me. <laughs> too embarrassed to say that it's his wife. Right? Who is making strange noises during the night. My wife, brother, my Muslim wife, she is making strange things. She, she's doing strange things in the middle of the night, brother. Three times a week. What? Three times a week? Strange thing happened to your wife three times a week? You're asking a friend. Guys, he's, talk, he's pretending that it's not his wife. <laughs> Poor guy. He's in pain, man. Imagine, put yourself in his shoes. Put yourself in the shoes of this guy. Imagine this is the guy, right? Imagine, put yourself in his shoes. Your wife making strange noises in the middle of the night. She feels, the guy says, the embarrassed guy says, my wife, she feels that there's someone having sexual intercourse with her for a while. Uh oh. For a while? Yes, for a while. 18 plus, guys, 18 plus. When she regains consciousness, I mean, this was a hot sex, man. She feels as if she has actually had intercourse and feels pain. Her, <clears throat> her fudge, her uh, 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 private part, her female private part is in pain. This started happening to her, to my wife, when she was 16 years old. Poor Muslim woman. At the beginning of puberty and continues until today. Till today the shaitan is effing his wife. Oh, poor man. His wife is getting effed. His wife is getting effed by shayateen. I hope for him it's not going to be an orgy. I hope it's not just, it's, it's not more than one shaitan. Imagine. Put yourself in his shoe. The guy is in pain. His wife is getting effed and the guy can't do anything about it. Put yourself in, put yourself in his shoes. I hope for this guy it's only one jinn. Only one shaitan, brother. Poor guy. And he wants a solution for this problem, for this disaster in his house. And here's the answer of the sheikh of the mufti, brother. The mufti, the sheikh, the imam is going to answer him. And he says, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. <laughs> they have to always start with this, right? Hey, brother, I testify there is no worthy of worship. Blah, 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 blah. Of shaitan, yeah. Shaitan. Allah is shaitan, brother. Look at the solution. Look at the solution, guys. Look at the solution of the shaykh. Brother, is there any quoting the Quran? It's Quran, brother. Look what he says more. The partnership of the shaitan, of the devil, brother, with a man and his children was interpreted to mean that he, who? Shaitan. Shaitan, brother? What does shaitan do to the man? Imagine this is the man, right? And, <clears throat> and he's about to, <clears throat> with his wife. <clears throat> According to the mufti, shaitan, brother, shaitan will wrap himself around your... Wait, 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 wait. Around your what? Shaitan will do what? Around your what? <laughs> True story, brother. This is, this is a religion, Muslims. So if you don't say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, A'udhu Billah min shaitan ar-Rajim, you don't do the Bismillah, brother, Shaitan will wrap himself around your penis, <clears throat> of the man and he will have sexual intercourse without first seeking refuge so shaitan is going to F your wife brother this is why your wife is making strange noises during the night because the shaitan is effing your wife because you forgot to say the bismillah you forgot to say bismillah shaitan rajim 
أعوذ بالله من الله الرجيم. Right? Right, Muslims? You've got to say those words. Now shaitan is effing your wife. And if we continue reading, all the way down, we see what is Abbas is going to say. Guys, you know who Ibn Abbas is, right? Ibn Abbas, Tarjaman al-Quran himself. The ink of the Ummah. Hibr al-Ummah, ya akhi. Ibn Abbas, ya akhi. Yes, that Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, brother. Tarjaman al-Quran, the translator of the Quran. Him. That guy. Who Muhammad said, he's the ink of the Ummah. Brother, let's see what Ibn Abbas has to say. Uh, radioactive, Why? Why are you radioactive? Why am I getting people very worried? Why? What do I were you planning to to recite the shahada and become a Muslim radioactive? Why would you be worried, man? Please answer my question. Why are you worried? Brother, any Muslim? Shaitan. <laughs> anyway. So look what Ibn Abbas is going to say about this. Once, a man told Ibn Abbas, uh -huh, a man came to see Ibn Abbas and he told him this, that his wife woke up and found a flame of what in her what? Wait, wait, wait. So he found a huge, <clears throat> in his wife's, what? What did he found in his <clears throat> brother? Call nine one one, guys. Call nine one one and ask a to come. Hey, brother, can someone please dial nine one one for me? The wife's what is on fire? According to what? And Ibn Abbas is mentioning this. Ibn Abbas, Hebrew al Ummah, Tarjaman al Quran. Yes, that Ibn Abbas. Brother, what? This is Islam, uh, dot, uh, islamweb.org, guys. Let me give you the link for the people just joined. I'm not saying this. This is Ibn Abbas, brother. This is cousin of Muhammad, brother. Any Muslim who dares to say Ibn Abbas is a filthy liar, a munafiq? A filthy munafiq kafir? Anyone? Any Muslim? I challenge you to call me and say that Ibn Abbas is a filthy munafiq. Filthy kafir. Can you do that for me, please? Someone call 911 because this wife's JJ is on fire, brother. A flame of fire is in a JJ, Brother, call 911 and br bring a lot of wa water. Gallons and gallons of water, please, because her <clears throat> is on fire, brother. Call 911. Mayday, mayday. Imagine this is your wife, brother. Her what is on fire, brother? This is the wife, right? Why is her <coughs> on fire? Ibn Abbas says, told him, so Ibn Abbas now is the one talking. Radiallahu anhu, the cousin of Muhammad. May Allah be pleased with Ibn Abbas. Who? May Allah be pleased with Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. Told the guy, now watch what Ibn Abbas is going to say. Ibn Abbas poured to, told the poor guy whose wife is <coughs> on fire, Told him that this happened. What is the reason, Ibn Abbas? Yeah, Ibn Abbas. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ibn Abbas. Yes, brother Rob. Yes, Rob Christian. Yeah, Ibn Abbas. What did you tell the poor guy? It happened, brother. It happened because of the sexual intercourse with a genie. Uh oh, so the genie was effing the poor guy's wife, and it, it you know, a, a huge fire became in the fijiji. A huge fire, yes, brother. Why? Because, brother, don't forget, genie are made from smokeless fire. Huge fire, brother. Fire. The girl is on fire. The girl is on fire, brother. Brother. The woman's JJ is on fire. Dial 911. Dial 911. Her JJ, brother, she's on fire. She's on fire. Ibn Abbas is telling this story. Yeah, guys, enough is enough. <clears throat> brother, this is a religion, brother. Yes, this is Islam, brother. Ya khabar abiyah. Ehl ummadi. 
Any Muslim? Any Muslim? We need your help to solve this solution, brother. Imagine if one Muslim, I know many Muslims are listening. Imagine you are a Muslim and you forgot to say the Bismillah. You forgot to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Audhu mina Allah shaitan ar-Rajim. And then you find out one day that your wife, your wife is having a orgy with shayateen, brother. Audhu billah, man. Audhu billah of that idea, man. Audhu billah that it will happen to your wife, brother. Imagine her fajajah will be on fire. Oh boy. Anyone interested to recite the Shahada today, guys? Come on, this is the day. This is the day for you to become a Muslim. And Allah knows best, brother. Allahu Alam. Brother. Again, let me give you the link. Don't call me a liar, brother. This is Islam, brother. The Shaykh, the Mufti is explaining and is giving the solution, brother. Next time, recite those words or else your, your wife is going to be next. Your wife is going to <clears throat> in her <clears throat> poor guy. Imagine. Imagine. He, he just got married and on the first night he forgot to say A'udhu Billah A'udhu Min Shaitan Rajim A'udhu Billah Min Shaitan Rajim Brother. Poor guy. Any Muslim? Any <clears throat> any Muslim? Brother. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. I have a question for the Muslims. Muslims, are you there? Give me one if there's a Muslim. Uh, guys, please. I know Islam is b embarrassing in 2021. But if you are a Muslim, give me a one in the live chat. So I know that you are listening. Come on. Don't feel embarrassed. I have more embarrassing stuff for you. Come on. Be a nice Muslim and give me a one in the live chat. Uh, they are giving me zero. So those are the Muslims. Okay, those are the Muslims. Good, good, good. good. Most of them, no. Even Christian. Okay, Christians, why are you giving me a zero, man? I know... Uh, Muslim, I'm asking for the Muslims. No one. Not one Muslim dares to give me a one. Ah, come on. Any Muslim with dignity, can, can you give me one? If you have dignity, is a andak sharaf u karama, give me a one. Uh, guys, you, if, you, if you know what I'm saying in the Arabic, they must give me a one now. Else, they have no sharaf, they have no karama. <laughs> These are huge words in Arabic, guys. Any, any Muslim? Still no one? <laughs> hey, Google, yeah, did you catch it, Aiden? Aiden, did you catch what is going on lately? Guys, Google moderators are removing our comments in the live chat. Imagine. Look how YouTube is sinking. They are helping the Muslims. They are helping Islam. <laughs> Oh man, YouTube, these giant media platforms are really embarrassing. Imagine, guys. Now, guys, since we don't have any Muslim who dare, since there is no Muslim with any dignity, let me tell you what is this hadith that you see here on the screen is talking about. Imagine... Are you with me, guys? Are you with me? Give me one. Uh, Christians, are you with me? Christians, are you with me? Imagine you are. You had a wonderful night. You ate at a good restaurant with your friends. You're walking on the street the way back home. And you find a woman on the street walking. And she come to you. She approach you and she tell you, you know, uh, you know, brother Harris Sade. Uh, brother uh, Dayson, uh, brother Phil Herrera, and she's she's the, she's that woman, right? That woman is saying to you, yesterday, 
I I saw my husband grabbing his penis and you cannot grab your penis like my husband. What would you say about such a woman, guys, in the live chat? What would you say about such a woman who is talking about the penis of her husband in public to you? What would you say about such a woman? Be honest. Full honesty, no political correctness here. What would you say about a woman who is talking about her husband penis in public? She's what? Guys, come on. She's what? Filthy. Someone is saying trashy. She is stupid. She is rotty. Oh boy. Guys, this is this is Aisha that you're talking about. You just insulted Aisha. Yeah, kuffar. She's the, she's the Habibi of the Rasul. She's the baby bride of, of, of Rasul. Aisha herself is that. I was talking about Aisha, guys. Gotcha. <laughs> I just tricked all of you guys. People do not know her. This is Aisha you're talking about. You just called Aisha trashy. Yeah, this is the story is about Aisha. A bad woman. Yeah. She is Aisha. You just, guys, you just called Aisha trashy. This is the mother of the believers. What, what, why, Rob? Why are you saying this is Aisha? Well, Aisha sing to the Sahaba. No one of you Sahaba, no one of you companions of Muhammad can grab his penis, irabahu, like Muhammad could. What? And this is Aisha saying it? Yes, Aisha, the trashy Aisha, is saying that about the penis of Muhammad. Oh boy. Muslims call her Umm al Mu'mineen, right? The mother of the believers. The trashy baby bride of Muhammad. Filthy woman. But what, wait, what did the Quran say about such women? Imagine she is the mother of the believers, Aisha herself. What did the Quran say? Surah An Nur. Watch, Surah An Nur. The light. Ayah 26 is in front of you. This is Quran, this is not Daif. Foul women are for foul men. Trashy women are for trashy men. And trashy men are for trashy women. And good women are for good men. And good men are for good women. But wait. The Quran just said that trashy, filthy women like Aisha are for filthy men like Muhammad, the Rasul. Oh boy. Muhammad dug a huge grave for himself when he fabricated this ayah. One plus one, brother. One plus one. Brother, one plus one. Oh boy. Do you see the moment Muhammad opened his mouth, we can use it against him and his wives in the court of law. Imagine, this is Aisha talking about the penis of his, her husband. Saying to the Sahaba, bragging about her husband's penis. In public. This is in public and we have it here. Sunan ibn Majah. Sahih. Brother, Irabahu. You know what uh, Irabahu mean? It's Amud al Dhakari, Amud al Dhakari. The penis, the, the malehood of a man, or in this case, Muhammad. She's talking about the penis of Muhammad in public, man. Man, this is Aisha. Aisha, brother. Aisha. What is Aisha saying, guys? Aisha saying, she's saying, she said that Rasulullah, guys, I'm translating, okay? She said that Rasulullah, Muhammad, her husband, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was kissing her. So Aisha saying that Muhammad was kissing her while he's being fasting, while he's fasting, fasting, yeah. He was fasting and he used to kiss Aisha. Okay. And she continues saying, And no one of you, Sahaba, i.e. Sahaba, no one of you can grab his penis like Muhammad, like Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he grabs his penis. Again, she needs to say it twice. Look, same words, twice. 
hold or grab his penis like any one of you. You cannot do that like my brother. Muhammad was the Italian stallion. Brother, he takes his penis out and he grabs it like uh, like an Italian stallion, brother. Guys, I have nothing to do with this. This is Aisha saying it about Muhammad's penis. Fire in the hole. <laughs> and guys, I have a surprise for you. Look how they sugarcoat it in the false translation. Look how what they are saying. Muhammad used to kiss Aisha while he was fasting. And who among you can control his desire? <laughs> you filthy lying translators. What else is new? Suddenly the penis, guys. The penis, the word pen. Look, this is one word. <laughs> guys, one word becomes all of these words, brother. See? Playing with the translation. Too embarrassed to translate it the correct way. Filthy liars. Filthy liars. Yeah. Yeah, his penis became... Uh, I be Bel B. Bel B. Bel B. You're an Arab, right? Do, uh, do we have Arabic speakers? Can someone tell me what Irabahu means? What is this word? Can you confirm it? Did, did Rob Christian lie in his translation? Correct translation? Am I translating it correctly? Anyone? Did I lie? Is this talking about the penis of Muhammad? Yes or no? Is this talking about the pee-pee of Muhammad? Nur al-Masih, Arabic speaker, who used to be an ex-Muslim, says yes. Bel Bibi, one of the admins, says yes, of course. Okay, so we have my, me, myself, Rob Christian, we have Nur al-Masih and we have Bel Bibi, three people in total, saying that this word means penis in Arabic. This is very word here. It's the male private part. Thank you very much. Nur al-Masih says, no bro, you're not lying. Thank you for confirming. Bel Bibi says, it's male private part. Thank you very much. You see it, guys? We're not lying. But the Muslims, these filthy scholars, these filthy deceivers, Need to lie in the translation. What else is new? What else is new, brother? Let me give you the hadith. Bookmark it, save it. And let me give you the Quranic ayah. Back to back. Back to back with the hadith, guys. One plus one. So if, Muhammad, if Aisha is, is a filthy woman, that means she is given by Allah for the filthy prophet of Allah. Aisha is filthy, trashy. Muhammad is filthy, trashy. The ayah is in front of you. One plus one. Back to back. Ya khabar abiyad. Ya khabar abiyad. So Muhammad became filthy and trashy? Yes. According to the Quran, yes. Any Muslim? And by this, guys, we conclude today's live show. Any Christian, any Muslim, I don't care. Anyone, any Christian wants to call in? Now it's the time to call in. Anyone? The phone lines are open for the Christians too now. Filthy, filthy Muhammad, right? Filthy Aisha and filthy Muhammad, according to the Quran. Muhammad became Najis. So he is the real Najis guys. Not us Christians. Muhammad became Najis together with Aisha. According to the Quran. Filthy women for the filthy men. Like Muhammad. Any Christian? Before we wrap this up guys. Before we wrap up today's live show. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope today you learned something new. Again. Yeah, and that's why Muhammad Hijab behaved like his prophet. Exactly. Look. I mean, uh, look. How is this not embarrassing, man? Any uh, Muslim? Any Christian? Maybe you want to say something about today's live show. Maybe you want to address something maybe you want to add on top of what we said today maybe you have a, not a better solution for what uh, a poor guy this poor guy 
whose wife is being effed by shayateen, man. Ibn Abbas, you forgot to say uh, the Bismillah, brother. Next time, say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, else your wife <coughs> will be on fire, brother. Anyone, guys? No phone calls? Yes, exactly. Uh, S W T O A D one. Exactly. Erebo means the full male organ. Exactly. You're not lying, right? Aisha is talking about the penis of Muhammad. Trashy woman for the trashy Muhammad. Any Muslim? Any Christian? You want me to explain to you uh, about how Muhammad used to suck th uh, thongs of uh, the son of Ali? <laughs> Muhammad used to suck uh, on the tongue of Hassan, the son of Ali. What what do you want me to say? Uh, I mean, we just proved to you that Muhammad is filthy from the Quran, like his uh, wife, Aisha. I mean, uh, what more than this do you want? Trashy prophet, trashy wife, according to the Quran. So why are you Muslim Muslims? Uh, Nur al-Masih, Habibi, Nur al-Masih, or Adam Seeker, do you want to call? Yes, you're live on air. Hello, Herb Christian. Hello, welcome. So, I'm a, I'm not a, a mis Muslim. I'm a Christian. I'm from Gabon. You are ex-Muslim. You are ex-Muslim. No no no, 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 no. I never been a Muslim. Oh, you're a Christian. Okay. okay. Yes, okay, but okay. I live in a country where Muslim uh, always to want me to become a. Uh, Muslim. Mm, okay. So I call you for tell you that I'm 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 very fan of your work and I hope that God will give you the power to keep continue what you're doing. You. I'm sorry, the uh, English is not my no, no, we understand my you, first my language. I understand okay. you. Don't worry. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go ahead. Okay. The what you do help me to to keep my my faith strong. Because uh, when you are a Christian and you're a Muslim country, yeah. they always try to make fun of you that you believe in three God is not good, <laughs> Allah does not like it, yeah. like that. So I, I found a, a video one day. It was uh, how to explain it in English. God make me to fall in your, your video one day Happy to and hear. I start to learn I, mm -hmm. I, I start to learn and now no Muslim can tell me what to, to believe again when they, they come with the, the fake prophet and their fake religions mm -hmm. and uh, thank you thank you for your work and Appreciate God it, my bless friend. you thank you it's thank all you. I have to say no problem thank you for calling in my friend thank you for your kind words uh my friend, I'm only doing this for the glory of Christ. I'm not here for fame. God forbid. Yes, yes. I'm not here for to be to to become an important guy. No, I'm only here to serve the truth, nothing but the truth. Thank you for your kind words, my my friend. I believe that this is the plan of Lord Jesus Christ for me to expose Muhammad and expose this <laughs> evil cult. So yes. all the glory goes back to Jesus. I, I'm a, I'm a sinner, my my friend. I'm a nobody. Yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for calling. Good. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your uh, call, my friend. Uh, all right. Uh, any other call, guys? Is there any other call before we finish today's live show? As you see, guys, today, again, thanks to the 
Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to his name, the name above all names, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. All the glory goes to him. I'm only here to serve. I'm only here to serve you guys. We are here to serve you with the truth. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. That's it. I hope many Muslims, I really hope that many Muslims will drop Muhammad, get disgusted of Muhammad and his filthy cult, Muhammad and his Islam, and come back home. Please don't allow any sheikh, any imam to deceive you. And you heard, just heard the caller. The caller just said, because of our videos, now you see how evil Islam is and how filthy Muhammad was. Right? How trashy Muhammad was for saying to women like your mother and sister to give her boobs to a stranger with a big beard. That's shayateen can F your wife because only because you forgot to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Shaytan ar-Rajim. Right? Bismillah ar-Shaytan ar-Rajim. I mean Allah. A'udhu <laughs> billah yeah. no. Only because you forgot to say these words? Really, Muslims? You believe in that? Really? And now shaitan can play with your wife in bed. Oh boy, I mean it's your, it's your life, it's, uh, it's your soul. It's your soul, it's your salvation. Wake up, Muslims. Muhammad lied to the Sahaba 1400 years ago. Don't allow him to lie to you while he's in his grave rotting, stinking, fake prophet, trashy prophet. Don't allow him to deceive you. Or let alone the Imams today. Come on. Come on. This is 2021. Wake up. Since we have no callers, guys, let us wrap this up. I want to thank everybody. I want to say to you, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support, for your donations. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. And Lord willing, we will see each other again very soon. Deus Vult. We will see each other in an epic live show again. Thank you for being here, guys. Go with the peace of Christ. And I want to say that every knee will bow Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord and Muhammad is nothing but a filthy, trashy, fake prophet. And he deserves what he came to him. Thank you for watching, guys. See you again very soon. Lord willing, Deus Vult. Till then, bye-bye. God bless. Welcome, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications.